this is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. Some things never change, like the sound of pads crushing against the equipment, the feel of cleats on fresh cut grass, or the deep breaths from a full practice. Another thing that never changes, the feeling of relief when the whistle blows for break, and the savory snack to go along with it. This is a moment to remember. This is a Mingi moment. I'm on a fixed income. Credit cards help me balance the money that's coming in and what I need to live on. I've thought about bankruptcy, but how am I supposed to pay for it? Sometimes the people that need help the most are the very people who can least afford it. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in London. work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in London. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 496 Kentucky schools. Over 282,000 students benefit from Whitaker Bank's Kentucky education initiatives. Whitaker Bank has contributed almost $441,000 to education programs for the advancement of Kentucky's youth. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Dennis Griffin Stadium here on the campus of Covington Catholic High School, the home of the Colonels. Tonight, it's uh, high school football, the Mingy Beef Jerky High School Football Game of the Week. It's Lexington Catholic 2-0, Covington Catholic 2-0, as they play tonight here at this Dennis Griffin Stadium, a brand-new stadium here at uh, Covington Catholic, Coach, and this is a nice facility here, no doubt about it. Beautiful. That's actually a beautiful scene here. Uh, the, just the way they have the field set up and Notre Dame Academy behind us, just beautiful. And tonight it'll be the Cuff-Calf Colonels coached by Eddie Eviston. Eddie, a former, of course, Georgetown Tiger quarterback and uh, outstanding uh, quarterback at uh, Georgetown. Played for the Kentucky Horseman Arena football team, was a quarterback there when I did their games on radio uh, back uh, 10 years ago or so and had a great career with them. And he was a coach at Newport Catholic. He won a state championship there at Newcath. He came over here to uh, Covcath. He's won a state championship here. He was state runner-up last year at Covcath. And we'll get into Lex Cath here in a moment. But your thoughts on this Covenant Catholic football team? Well, first of all, Eddie Evanson, he won a national championship at Georgetown, yes, correct? Yes, yes. And then with the with the, the indoor football team, did he win that too? We got to the championship game, yes, oh, sir. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, very successful. My thoughts about this game is that we have two very, very evenly matched football teams, and it's going to depend on, I think, nerves a little bit. The weather's perfect, Gary, just yeah. perfect. So I think the game's going to kind of come down to the details turnovers, maybe the kicking game. And Lexington Catholic coached by Nigel Smith, a former University of Kentucky football player. He played for Kentucky, I believe, in like 01 to 03. And uh, also a Bryan Station grad coach uh, played at Bryan Station High School, and he's here at the, the helm of Lexington Catholic. And I tell you what, he's doing a fine job for the Knights. He's doing a really good job. He's kind of a defensive-oriented guy. And when he came in here, I think maybe that was one of the weaknesses a little bit was defense. He's trying to pick that up. Yeah, he's a Bryan Station guy. I know his family, uh, father, mother. They're great people. Uh, I'm, you know, a lot of people are really wishing him success here. And, you know, we're going to see a new player tonight for Lexington Catholic, uh, Kamunga Mufada, number three. I tell you what, Coach, he passes the eye test. Yeah, he does. We, you pointed that out to me and said keep an eye on him. And we'll do that. We'll keep an eye on him and take a look at how he plays the game and his position. The Minky Beef Jerky High School football game is brought to you by Kentucky Orthodontics Adonics and Invisalign, Doctors Durbin, Morris, and Garner. They've got the $1,500 off if you mention prep spin on Kentucky Orthodontics and Invisalign. Just, say, just go in there and say, hey, prep spin, and they'll give you $1,500 off. I, I, you can't beat that, Coach. No, it's amazing. Boy, the, the sponsors that we have are just tremendous. Love them. And the Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode uh, just uh, asked the lawyers there at Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode the Scholastic Ball Report Sundays at noon on the CW, Lexington Diagnostic Center, and Open MRI, Bluegrass Orthopedics, uh, Sutherland Chevrolet. Don't text and drive from Sutherland Chevrolet. Bumblebee Team Sports, the Adidas official apparel of Prep Spin. They're going to give us some Adidas apparel, Coach. So we uh, got to talk about Bumblebee. I love Adidas and I love Bumblebee. That company's been around for a very long time. They do a great job over there, Bumblebee Team Sports. Rafferty's Restaurants with a special as you. Rafferty's, boy, I love that potato soup. I had me some uh, Wednesday night after my show. And uh, that chicken, the salad, the chicken salad that you know they put on top of that uh, salad with the uh, grilled chicken. It was outstanding. Whitaker Bank, uh, uniquely Kentucky and Lexington Catholic Athletics. And, of course, throughout the broadcast tonight, we'll have some special shout-outs. This is Dennis Griffin Stadium. Coach, when I was here back in the day, I did games here at uh, Covenant Catholic. As you know, in the 80s and 90s, I did radio up here on different stations, HKK and, and CVG. It was known as Wooten Field here. They did not have lights. You know why they didn't have lights? Tell me. Because the residents around here didn't want to have lights. Uh, they said, I don't want lights glaring down on me at uh, 10, 11 o'clock at night. So they, they they fought that, and now they got the beautiful, they're the second facility here in the state of Kentucky to get the LED lights. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be really interesting. We did a game up here a couple of years ago. And it wasn't LED lights. No, they had temporary <laughs> lights, and, and they were about 10 feet high across the field from us, Yeah, and they were hitting us right in the face. So, Covenant Catholic, Coach, we've got to talk about this team. i tell you what, they've got more than Michael Mayer. they got a quarterback who's a two-year starter now, Caleb Jacob. He's thrown for 338 yards this year so far, seven touchdown passes. And i tell you what, Michael Mayer, he has caught four passes for 134 yards, four touchdowns, and he's ran one in from 29 yards out a touchdown. He's touched the ball five times on offense, and he's got five touchdowns. Well, i tell you what, I think you're having a little bit more problems tonight, but you're right. What an athlete going to Notre Dame. Committed to Notre Dame, I, I swear, 
there's athletes on both sides of the ball for a Covington Catholic. And I talked to Eddie Eviston the night before the game about Bo Allen, the quarterback going uh, for Lex Camp going to Kentucky. And he said, yeah, he's got a lot. Of, he likes to spread it around. And, Coach, he ain't kidding. When you like to spread it around, he's got eight or ten receivers he can spread the ball around. Well, we talked about that last week. Yeah. You, ter- you talk about scouting Lexington Catholic. How do you scout the passing attack? You know, usually you kind of center on one receiver that seems to be the guy you want to get the ball to. Yeah, is that Jackson Corbett? I don't think so. Is that Dylan Bracken? I don't know. J.D. Woodall, Jackson Klein, Jack Mundy. Is it uh, Blake <laughs> Buson? I mean, you just go down the list here. Uh, Ryan Nichols out of the backfield. They've got about seven, eight weapons they can hey, throw the ball to. And last week, he threw a ball to himself. That's right, he, and it was a completion. Yeah, a completion to himself. That's exactly right. So we're going to look for that tonight. Will he complete a pass to himself? No, nah, that was a mistake. It's a beautiful facility here at uh, Covenant Catholic here in Park Hills, Kentucky. Not a bad drive up here from Lexington. Coach, you kicked back, and uh, we drove up here in the Sutherland Chevrolet in Palace, so uh, we made it up here nicely. Yeah, and you, made, you, you allowed me the opportunity to put ice on my foot on yeah. the way up, and <laughs> I was very happy about that. Oh, okay, we've got to talk about defense, Coach. When oh, you look at Covenant Catholic, okay, Covenant Catholic, they uh, play. They haven't given up a point this year. They're, uh, they've outscored their opponents 86 and nothing. I'm not sure. They have not played a, an opponent like no. Lexington Catholic. Because uh, Apologies to Ryle and Cooper, but they're not that good. Okay, but back to this uh, Coveted Catholic uh, defense. They have a, a backup defensive lineman, Trevor Wilson. He's a backup, 6'3", 190-pound sophomore. He leads the state with four sacks. Unbelievable. How can you lead the state? How can you be a backup? and lead the state in a, in a category on defense. Amazing. Trevor Wilson. And, of course, uh, we've got the uh, national anthem and the prayer here. We'll step out here on the Prep Spin Game of the Week. It's the Mingy Beef Jerky High School Football Game of the Week. What's your starting five? How about this one? Mild, hot, Cajun, barbecue, and teriyaki. It's the flavors of Mingy Beef Jerky, each one handmade from Ronnie Mingy's all-natural recipe using top-quality beef. That's what makes Mingy Beef Jerky stand out. Take it from me, Tom Leach. Pick up a package today, and if you don't see it, ask for it. And check them out online at MingyBeefJerky.com. That's M-I-N-G-U-A BeefJerky.com. And go there today to see their newest product, Mingy Beef Jerky Meat Sticks, in mild, hot, or honey barbecue. I work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind, and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in London. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. This is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards. They offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Will High Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. Folks, this is Gary Ball, and you hear my catchphrase, soup and a sandwich. When I want the best potato soup and prime rib sandwich, I head over to Rafferty's Restaurants after my games. Check out Rafferty's nine great locations throughout Kentucky, and all you teens, you can eat at Rafferty's before those big ball games. The open prime rib sandwich is what legends are made of. Ask Joe B. Hall, the legend himself, it's his favorite. Rafferty's a big supporter of high school sports throughout Kentucky. Rafferty's, where the special is you. Did you know in addition to...
Welcome back here to Covington Catholic High School, uh, home of the Colonels. Tonight, the Lexington Catholic Knights are in town here on Prep Spin, the Prep Spin Mingy Beef Jerky Game of the Week. We already thank all the sponsors here on the broadcast, and uh, we thank those folks for uh, sponsoring these games. And I'm Gary Ball with Coach Mike Meehan and William Warfield, the King of Stream. I think he's made it official now. He got the shirt from the Legends. They made him a shirt. It says King of Stream on the back of it. It's official now. He is the King of and Stream. And there's got to be more than one of him, Gary. I uh, see him everywhere. Everywhere. Football games, soccer, soccer games. Volleyball. Uh, yeah, and Legends baseball Legends games. baseball. Everywhere. everywhere. William Warfield is he's omnipresent, Coach. <laughs> omnipresent. Tonight it's Lexington Catholic and Covington Catholic. Let's take a look at the uh, starting units for both football teams. Let's first take at the visitors, a Lexington Catholic at, at the uh, uh, center spot. It'll be Elliot Macero, making sure I say that name right. Quentin Duffy, the left guard, a 284-pound sophomore. Philip uh, Felipe Arumva, a guard. Uh, Michael Pitts, six-foot junior, is at the right tackles. Big Zach DeGraff at 6'6", 220, left tackle. The uh, wide outs are Jackson Klein. He's a six-foot junior. Jackson Corbett, six foot, 175 pound junior. J.D. Woodall and Dylan Bracken. Quarterback is Bo Allen, a 6'3", 205 pound senior. Let me give you the stats on Bo Allen. Can I do that, Coach? Let's do it. 36 of 49, and if I'm not mistaken, that's that's about 78 percent completion, 518 yards, and six touchdown passes. And remember, Coach, most of that was last week because in the Pulaski County game, he ran two touchdowns in and threw one. Absolutely. And, again, we're going to comment a lot on his footwork, his his passing skills because, honestly, he's one of the best I've ever seen as far as his fundamentals go. And the running back will be Ryan Nichols, a 5'8", 175-pound senior. He's carried the ball 17 times for 72 yards and a touch for Lexington Catholic. That's the offense. And the offense for Covington Catholic, uh, the Colonels, they're 2-0, ranked number one in 5A football, just ahead of South Warren and Douglas and uh, let's say some other 5A teams we put up there, Coach, with Scott County. Yeah. Those would be some of the top-ranked teams in 5A. Uh, Jack Pitzik is the uh, center, 6'5", 215-pound senior. Carter Martin is a right guard, 6'2", 210 and a senior. Zach Allen is your left guard, 6'2", 225-pound senior. Big Lucas Jones, and when I say big, 6'4", 290 pounds, and a senior. He's a big left tackle. And right tackle is uh, Ben Dickhouse, 6'3", 225-pound junior. So other than Jones, they're not tremendously big up front, but they're very uh, you know aggressive up there. Very aggressive, and they, they have a, a, a pretty good offensive scheme, too, with Eddie Evanson being the head coach. Yeah. Uh, he's done a lot of different things, spread the field, throw the ball a lot. He can run the football, too, with, that, with that, his system. And their quarterback is uh, Caleb Jacob, a 6'4", 210-pound junior, as we talked about. Good stats for the young man, seven touchdowns, only two interceptions, whereas we mentioned Bo Allen has not thrown an, an INT this year. You look at the wide receivers, they've got uh, Jack Stava, uh, Stava is a 5'10 senior, three catches. Michael Mayer, 6'5", 240 senior. Does he pass the eye test or what? He does. We were watching him warm up down there, and he, he basically looks like a college player right now. And you got Andy uh, Molecule at the uh, Z receiver. Uh, you've got Michael Boydston at the uh, running back, 5'10 senior. And Ethan Reardon is the X receiver, a 6'5", 185-pounder. And Molecule is 6'4". They're receivers. 6'5", six, 6'4", five, six, six, five. They've got three receivers all above six foot four. Right, and that's going to make it a tough a tough job for Lexington Catholic with their coverage. I'd say the key to Catholic, Lexington Catholic, let's just call them the Knights, is to get into the backfield, penetrate, and put some pressure on the quarterback. Well, you see uh, Michael Mayer is one of the captains, and also Andy Molecule is one of the captains, and we've got uh, 23 there. He's also a captain. That's Andy Molecule. And we got 86 is a uh, captain, and he's uh, John Lowry. And you look at uh, Bo Allen's a captain, DeGraff's a captain, and uh, the, some of the other captains coach for Lexington Catholic. We got 51. That's uh, Felipe Arumba is one of the captains for the uh, Knights. They will be in the white with the blue, and Covington Catholic will be in the blue with the white numerals as Covcath and Lexcath battling here, the Colonels. And one thing about it, they're both under the Diocese of Covington, Coach, up here with uh, Covington Catholic and, and Lexcath. So uh, i tell you what, uh, is the Pope here tonight? 
I don't know, but uh, I'm sure there's a couple bishops <laughs> at least. <laughs> Some cardinals maybe? Maybe, maybe. So it is uh, Kevin Catholic and Lex Cath here on the Mingy Beef Jerky High School Football Game of the Week. We gave the offenses for you waiting for the coin toss, and Coach has got his eyes, binoculars on him out there. Uh, we got the uh, camera above tonight. That's a good shot up there. Look at that shot down from above here, and it, and it looks like that uh, – Waiting for the official to tell us. And Cuff Cath will receive the football off to our right. The defense for Lex Cath. Jackson Smith's a defensive end. Number two tackler on the team, 6'2", 185 senior. Nick Carey is a nose tackle, 6'2", 10. Jackson Gentry is the defensive end, 6'2", 200-pound junior. And the linebackers, Kamunga Mufata and Ryan Gallagher and Pierce Hall. Uh, Felipe Arumba is a linebacker as well. Looking at the secondary, J.D. Woodall is back there with Teddy Bullock and Jackson Corbett and John Martin Sims are the safeties. So that's your defense for the Knights. So the Knights will be kicking to Cuff Cath, and the Colonels will receive the football here at this beautiful Dennis Griffin Stadium. My first look at this uh, brand-new stadium here, Coach, and I tell you what, I'm impressed. I am too. Um, I, the only negative, it, it, it's about uh – a mile to the bathroom in, in case a, or concession and stand. And with somebody who had surgery on their foot and it's on a crutch, that's a little difficult, isn't yeah, it? It is, but you know what? I'll do it for high school football, Gary, and for prep spin. Well, we're just about set for the uh, kickoff, and Lexington Catholic will boot it off to our right from left to right. So, Cuff Cath will receive the ball, and then we're going to see Caleb Jacob, the right-handed 6'4", 210-pound quarterback for the Colonels, go to work. And you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to send a message right off the bat to they, Lex Cat that they they're, they're here to play. They will. And, and it'll be a good look to look at the kicking game from both teams, too. Gary, I got to tell you something. I'm fired up. I am really excited about this football game. I think we're seeing two quality football programs and football teams. You got Nally dropping back deep. He is to the far side and to the near side. It looks like uh, Sean Below is out there. And Ballo is to the near side. So, Nally. Number 25, Sean Ballo. Sean Ballo is back deep, and Nally is back for the uh, Colonels of Cuff Cath in the blue. Lexington Catholic in the uh, white with the blue numerals. Number 81, Max DeGraff. Max will kick off for the Knights, so Max has it teed up. And we're going to get our first look at uh, this young man for uh, Lex Cath coach, Kimwaga Mufada, the 6'2 junior. Just became eligible this week. Yeah, for, and for uh, a lot of people are looking forward to seeing him play. He's going to be a real asset to this football team. So back deep, Nally and Ballo waiting to receive this DeGraff kick here. Just about set for football here at the Dennis Griffin Stadium on the campus of Covenant Catholic tonight on prep spin in high definition. And uh, DeGraff is into the ball, and here's the kick. And it will be Nally up to five. He's up to the 10. Nally to 15 to 20. Far side cuts it off, breaks a tackle. Gone. He's got the kicker to beat at the midfield oh. and tackled at the midfield strike by the kicker. Unbelievable. Kicker did a super job of getting a hold of his ankle and bringing him down. Or that would have been gone to the house. At the 45 of uh, Lex Kath. That's what Cub Kath will go to work. Ethan Reardon is a wide out. Boyd standing in the backfield along with the molecule. And let's see, here comes uh, quarterback uh, Jacob. Caleb Jacob, 6'4", 210, good size, young man, Coach. Yeah, good size. Can see over the line of scrimmage real well over those big linemen. Reared and splits out to the top. They've got uh, Michael Mayer as a slot to the right. Boydston in the backfield. And here comes a Mayer in motion near us up here in the press box. Backside, inside, and a handoff to the running back. Down to the 30-yard line, up ended at the 30-yard line. Really good job of trapping with the tight end. They walked the tight end across in motion, stopped him, and then he went back and he kicked out on the on the edge player. It was the key block in that play. Excellent job by Mayer. I believe that was uh, Daniel Felix. The uh, SB, yeah, Felix in there at the running back. Pickup of about, oh, 15 yards. First down inside the 30 for Jacob. Jacob back to pass. Airs it out, Close and he throws it. And it's caught off the uh, fingertips by Michael Mayer inside the 10 and uh, to the 15. That's the first time he's caught a ball this year. He didn't score a touchdown. <laughs> first time he's touched the ball when he hasn't scored a touchdown. That's exactly right. Yeah, we got a good crowd. Wow. Really good crowd here, Cup Calf and. Lex Kath as the visiting stands along the way. So another first down down to the 15-yard line for the uh, Colonels of Cuff Cath, Coach. Have we had any? Uh, Not yet. Okay. So splitting out to the top, Boydston. 
to the bottom is Reardon. Jacob in the pocket. He gives it to Felix, and, and he is tackled on a good play there by Pierce Hall and also turning that a play in there, Jackson Corbett. Yeah, that was a really good defensive play, and that's exactly what they're going to have to do on the edge right there. I've been talking about uh, really watching the defensive ends, the defensive edge players, because they're going to have a big job tonight. Second down, a pick up about a yard on there. Second and nine down at the 14-yard line. Triple receivers out to the top. Molecule. One-on-one oh, -on -one backside. And Caleb Jacobs sends uh, Mayer in motion to the near side and taking the snap. Back to pass. Fires over to Mayer. He's got the catch down inside the 10 and tackled down there. And coming over to get him was Jackson Corbett. Corbett did a good job of coming up and make the tackle on the big man. He's quite oversized there as far as the, the matchup wasn't good as far as size goes, but he did a really nice job of making that tackle. Third down and five at the 10-yard uh, line. Third down, so big third down here for Cub Calf. Gear so far, what they're trying to do is isolate Mayer on different on different defensive backs. They really are trying to get him isolated one on one. This time they split out to the uh, top. That's going to be Molecule and slot man lone back uh, to the right. Mayer in motion now sets up with a slot to the right. They give to Mayer inside. He's hit. Breaks a tackle down to the five yard line. It'll be close to the marker. And he was dragging tacklers along the way, in particular. And Mayer close to the first down. Yeah, he uh, Jackson Klein made penetration on that play, got a hold of him. But you're not going to yeah. be able to get a hold and of that big man. Ryan Gallagher uh, stopped him there, the outside linebacker, the number one tackler on the uh, Lexcath team. So it's fourth and short for the uh, Colonels. Let's see what Jacob has for us here. See if they go on a long count here and do it the easy way. We'll see. Boydston, along with uh, Andy Molecule, split out to the right. Fourth down. Long count. Blitz being shown. They hand it left side. Hit. Knocked down. I don't know if he got it. Great defense by the Colonels. I think they stopped him. Yeah. And who's down there on that tackle? I see 50. Is that 58, Coach? Yeah, 58. 58 down there. That was a Nick Carey making the stop. Nick Carey made a stop there. Big play. Big Big Boy, they settled down, didn't they? First time the Colonels have been stopped this year. Yeah, there's a replay. Yeah, 58's at the bottom holding on. Colonels defense will go to work here. Lexington Cather, we already set their offense for you. John Lowry, Zach Allen, Carter Martin up front. Linebackers, Anoa Powers, Daniel Felix, Michael Mayer, Michael Thielen will set the secondary after this play. In motion is Nichols. Bo Allen looking to pass. Fires it over now. Nichols has got to catch at the 10. He's up at the 15. Up to the 18, 19 yard line. Close to the first down marker for Lex Cam. Yeah. Let's check the secondary. Sean Ballou, Andy Molecu, and he was in on that last play. Ray's, uh, Jack Ray's back in. David uh, Brun. Run scene. Now, Lexington Catholic loves the screen passes and the flares. They don't mind throwing those short passes and get good blocking out front. So They needed to get out of the shadow of their end oh, zone there, but boy, they did, did they. it nicely. So, Bo Allen, he's got triple receivers to the bottom here. First down. Oh, High yeah. snap, and Bo takes it, rolls to the right, gets Throw pressure, bounds, still Bo. rolling, throws it out of bounds. And it'll be incomplete. It, it happened because the snap went up high almost over his head. And that was a great job there by Bo Allen to bring that ball down. Yeah, that showed you what a good, experienced quarterback wants to do. You know, throw the ball out of bounds. Don't take the sack. Don't try to run the ball against all that pressure. Nice job. 8.37 here in the first quarter. No score. This is the opening series for Lex Cath. They stopped. Covcath for the first time this year. Covcath down at the five-yard line. They stopped him on a great play by Nick Carey. Yeah, I think that was a, a diagnosed play by Lexington Cath. They need a better snap here, Coach. They need a much better snap. That's the first bad snap I've seen all yeah, year. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of those. Twins to the near side for Bo Allen. Motion now. Comes Corbett. And Bo Allen gives up the gut, looks to pass. He's got to Corbett 20. He's up to the 25, up to the 30, and he's close to the first down marker. And he has hit up over there, coming over, making the stop, is Noah Powers, the outside linebacker. Gary, that was an RPO. That's one of those plays where, you, where uh, the quarterback's got the read. He's faking the inside play or he can give it, and then he can either run it like an option or throw the flare pass. He chose the flare pass that time. 
So they picked up two first downs. They started this drive back at their five, and they're out to the 30-yard line after two first downs. And Lexington Catholic moving to football very effectively with that all-state quarterback, Bo Allen. And and good job by the running back, by the way. Yeah, Nichols. And I tell you, that was a great catch by Corbett. Corbett goes in motion, and they fake it to him. Bo Allen up the middle to the 40-yard line, and there's a flag coming down as Bo runs it out to the 40 and a late flag by the back uh, judge. Holding. looked like holding against Lex Cav. Yeah, it was a holding penalty. A, a really good tackle ca uh, coming up there by uh, Hodge, Jackson Hodge. But, uh, again, a holding penalty will negate that. Negate that. So it was first and ten. Now move it back. So the uh, quickly to throw the flag. So he must have seen something, Coach. He threw it right in there right away. This is the Mingy Beef Turkey High School football game of the week. Thanks to all our sponsors here on the Mingy Beef Turkey Game of the Week. Gary Ball with uh, Mike Meehan and William Warfield, the king of stream. That penalty takes it back to the 30, 29-yard line, so it'll be first and about 12 maybe. Is that right? First and 12. So what they, a big offensive line out there, Gary. Yeah. Jeez. Mayer is at linebacker. you got to watch him. Here comes the blitz, and Bo Allen – Flares it out. He's got Jackson Klein up the near sideline and then slammed down at the 30, coming over to tackle him and make a nice play there. Uh, good job by number 29. That's Jack Raisbeck. Yeah, Gary, they, don't, they do not have an answer for Klein out of the backfield. And you got the stats there, Coach. I believe Bo Allen's, what, four for four, five for five? Let me check it out. Yeah, he has, he has not thrown an incompletion yet. One of those was, was made a great catch on down on the ground, but – Good job He's, by the receiving coach. Well, the quarterback's reading the defense. You said he, he, the blitz was on. He picked the blitz up and yeah, threw the ball to the flare. Blitz was coming in a hurry. Bo Allen, he'll have to pick those kind of blitzes up at Kentucky when he's quarterback. Oh. Second down at about three. They need to get to the 41. Bo Allen looking to pass. Bo Allen back in the pocket, fires. He's got his man up to the 41. He's close to the first down marker as he hits Woodall, J.D. Woodall. Woodall yeah. the catch. Making the play was Thielen, Michael Thielen, 6'2", 205-pound senior outside backer. Yeah, that's another really good game. That's the pass that they really hurt people last year, hurt the team from Indianapolis on last year. Uh, I want everybody to watch, when you're watching this, watch Bo Allen's release. First down on that, Coach. Watch his release. He has the quickest release that I've seen from a high school quarterback. Yeah, he gets rid of that ball, doesn't he? Yeah, just bam, it's gone. So you got Corbett. Klein trips out to the near side. Single receiver out to the top. Nichols in motion. Bo Allen looks over to the right. Fires it and incomplete. Hot. And I tell you what, I had, <laughs> had uh, the defensive back, uh, Raysbeck, been looking for the ball. He might have picked that one off. He might have. That ball, uh, boy, I tell you what, that ball was thrown quick and hard. Maybe a little too hot, you know. Maybe it was a little too hot for the receiver. 7-12 to go. First quarter action. Lexington Catholic has moved this ball out from their own four-yard line out to the 41, second down and 10. That was the first incompletion by, by Mr. Allen, wasn't it, Coach? Yeah, yes, it was. I think we're going to have a – I'm looking for a screen coming up here pretty soon. Bo Allen on a quarterback keeper oh, hit don't, don't and do that, slammed Bo. down, yep. And let's see. Bo Allen tackled in the backfield. Who came up and got him? It looked, looked like Felix got him and Allen. Zach Allen, the nose tackle, 58. I see third and long now for – Lexington Catholic, they've got to get down to the 49 of Cuff Cath for a first down. Right, and they have that they have that curl, double curl pattern. They release on the outside left. They release the guy straight down the field. We've seen this last week. And then they throw that curl pattern deep in the middle. But, you know, he might go for the bomb here. Bo Allen back deep pocket, deep in the pocket, looking, looking downfield. Throws it, airs it out to Woodall. Woodall dumps up and complete, tries to make the catch. As he tried to go over top of uh, Brunson and couldn't come up with the catch, so it'll be fourth down. Well, they, they got a couple of big first downs, but the uh, I think the holding penalty really stalled that uh, drive. Yeah, those holding penalties put a halt to a lot of those those drives. Bell Allen, um, until the up updates, it was four for six now, 36 yards. Zimmerman and Raysbeck back deep for Cove Cav. Waiting this punt coming from Brendan Anderson. High snap over his head. He's going to have to go back and get the ball, and he can't jump on it. And finally, he's going to be hit back at the 
15-yard line. An uncharacteristic mistake by Lexington Catholic. They the, don't normally make and those And he's, he's down. The young man is down and shaken up for Cove Calf, for Lexington Catholic, excuse me. He was hit as he was on the ground. The uh, player for Cove Calf came in and, and went for the ball and hit him pretty hard. Yeah, the ball was loose there, and he tried to get on it again. Pretty smart trying to get on it. Sometimes, let's set a replay here, Gary. Uh, we can see the ball is way over his head, much out of his reach. He goes back to get the ball, to fall on it, rolls over it, and then bam. He falls on the ball. He does get the ball, but it was a pretty good hit off his shoulder there maybe. So the Colonels of Cub Cath will have the ball at the inside the 15 of Lex Cath on a botch punt by the Lexington Catholic Knights. They, were, they moved the ball effectively, picked up a couple of first downs and looked pretty positive, and then they were stalled there at the uh, – 40-yard line well, and had Again, to like punt. you said, it was that penalty. You know, those penalties that kill you. You have a holding penalty after a good good couple of plays, and it puts you back. Yeah, the young player down and shaking up. Uh, this is the Mingy Beef Jerky High School uh, football game of the week. Mingy Beef Jerky, Kentucky Orthodontics and Invisalign. Doctors Durbin, Morris, and Garner just going to tell them about the uh, prep spend special. You get a $1,500 off. That's quite a savings, Coach. That's amazing. I, I don't know how you can offer something like that. Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode uh, ask the lawyers. The Scholastic Ball Report, our team of the week this week, is Franklin County and Eddie James, the coach there at Franklin County, and uh, they are the uh, team of the week. He's on with three of his outstanding players. One of the players is uh, uh, Brad Holler, and he's the son of uh, Randy Holler, Randy. a great U.K. Uh, player. And then the scholar athletes, D.J. Van Horn, the quarterback at Henry Clay, also possesses a 4.3 GPA. He's on with Sarah Shadwick and uh, also Charlie Boone. They all have 4.7 GPAs, Coach. It's an amazing show. If you're out there and you love high school sports, especially, you know, this time of the year, turn in, tune into CW Lexington. Uh, I, I watch it on Dish Network, and it's a really good show with Gary Ball. Sundays at noon on the CW. Young man is up, and he walked off on his own power. And that was um, Brennan Anderson, the punter. So, Cub Cath will go to work their second series. They only have to go f less than 15 yards. Let's find Michael Mayer. Whiteouts to both sides. And Caleb Jacob in the uh, shotgun. Looking right. Right. Looks to fire. Throws it to Mayer in the back of the end zone. Incomplete. Throwing it up to Michael Mayer. Now, okay, now quarterback in that situation needs to put a little air under the ball and give, it, you, give your big receiver a chance to catch the ball. You don't want to throw it on so much of a line that it goes out of bounds. Good coverage back there by John Martin Sims and company. Back there in coverage on um, 87. You always got to look for 87, don't you, Coach? Well, you're doing those, those big turnovers like that. Heck, yeah. Reardon at 6'5", splits out to the near. Motion man to the near side. They give it on a jet sweep around the left. Cuts it back to 10, to the 5. And let's see, does it get no. in? Down to the 1-yard one one line. And that was Boydston. He really? was the motion man. And jet sweep to Boydston. Here's a, a Kentucky loop instant replay. Watch the blocking on the side. Don't watch it running back, guys. Watch the blocking. Picked up one block there. Picked up a second one. Good move there. And an excellent tackle by two Knights, right there on the one-yard line, game. Yeah, one of them was uh, you-know-who, Coach. The young man we've been talking about, Mufada. Mufada was right in there. Power formation quarterback is under center now. Jacob, and he's going to keep it, tuck it, and he's going to – looks like he got in. Touchdown. Caleb yeah. Jacob with a keeper. And it's uh, Cub Cath now taking the early lead, six to nothing, 5.41 to go here in this first quarter of action from uh, Dennis Griffin Stadium here on the campus of Cub Cath. I tell you what, when you give your opponent the ball to 15 and you get an offense like Cub Cath, that's uh, that's disaster. Yeah, it is. It, see if we make the extra point here. Going for the PAT. David Granati. Bat snap. Kick is up, and it is in the upright. So 7 to nothing on the extra point. We have five minutes and 41 seconds to go here. And, Coach, you got some stats there early on for us here. And uh, Cub Cath, I tell you what, they didn't have to move the ball very far, but <laughs> Lexington Catholic got some first downs. But the uh, penalties hurt them there on that holding penalty, and they had to punt. The ball was snapped over the punter's head, and then uh, Le Covey Catholic got the ball at their own 15-yard line. Yeah, they don't have a lot of yardage. Caleb Jacob is two for two for 17 yards. One that, that one pass was 13 yards, so that made up most of it. Uh, Daniel uh, Felix – 
three carries for 17 yards, and uh, Michael Mayer himself has that one carry for four yards. But again, neither team, you know, neither team are, are, are really moving the ball on the ground very well. Bo Allen right now is four for six for 36 yards. Most of the damage, Gary, is being done by Corbett Nichols in, uh, catching the football. Jackson Corbett, six-foot junior. He had nine catches, 143 yards, and two touchdowns coming in. Set to kick off is Granati. Back deep is Dylan Bracken. He's the lone man back there at the uh, five inside the five-yard line. Here's Granati's kick, and it is going to drive uh, Bracken back, and it's going to be a touchback back in the end zone. So, No question about that one. That had a lot of foot on it. So Lex Gath will get it out at the 20-yard line. And it be interesting to see how Lexington Catholic adjusts now. Now they only they, the holding penny really did hold, hurt them. Uh, Covington Catholic, the Colonels have got to cover that back out of the backfield. Let's see if they change their defensive look. They've been in a cover three look. They're now in a looks like a cover two. Two safeties pretty much on the hash or favoring the the short side of the long side of the field. Yeah, cover two. Jack Mundy is in it, receiver now, the slot to the right. Bo Allen fakes to Nichols, looks to pass. Screen. He's got Corbett on the screen. He is to the 25-30, and he's up to the near side to the 40-yard uh, line, and he's still going to the 41. Good running there by Jackson Corbett after he Jackson caught the ball. Corbett. That's a pickup of about 19, maybe 20 yards, Coach. Yeah, they're going to come back to the screen. They have about four different screens they run. They've got a, the, a slip screen, a bubble screen, a hitch screen, or whatever. Some people call it a quick screen. And they're going to they're gonna do that a lot. The theory behind that, Gary, is throw the screen pass early and often to get the linebackers chump, jumping and get those defensive linemen running back and forth getting tired. I will say, Coach, Bo Allen looking pretty sharp here in the first quarter. Absolutely. There's only uh, five minutes to go. He sends Nichols out to the far side, looks that way, getting pressure left side. He steps up, throws it deep down. It's called by Corbett at the 30. And Corbett to the 25, down to the 23-yard line. He's finally tackled right there. Coming up to get him was uh, David Bronson. Brownson there to get him. Here's the Kentucky and loop replay. Steps up into the pocket, throws a beautiful pass to Corbett. All the way down to the uh, 20. They've marked it at the 20. Three-yard line right in the middle of the field and out to the uh, far side. Twins go out to the far and to the near side. And you got in for a Catholic. Uh, Jack Goman is in there, number 14. Goman split. He's a slot out, and you got twin receivers, Woodall, and also uh, you got uh, Mundy to the near side. In motion, Bo Allen fakes to the motion, got to the 20. Bo Allen to 15, down to the uh, close to the 10-yard line. What a run by Bo Allen. And he has uh, stopped there. Michael Mayer making the uh, stop the linebacker, the leading tackler for the Covcat Colonels. So Bo Allen, wow, good running there. Picked up about 11 yards, maybe 12. It's always scary for me to see that quarterback run the ball like that. I know. That, but he's big and strong. So He is uh, 6'3", 205 pounds. This is Bo Allen. Triple receivers trying to draw Covcat off sides. Down to the uh, – Covcat, remember, they haven't been scored on yet this year. Two shutouts. Triple receivers out to the left. Nichols goes in motion. Bo Allen looking to pass. Bo Allen's got a track right side. Looks to throw it. Touchdown! As he goes to his man, Dylan Bracken. Dylan Bracken is amazing. He's having a heck of a game. Oh, he was wide open. Gary, you have this, state, this thing you always say, and that's the tight end's always open. <laughs> yes. Bracken's always, always open. open. Bracken scores the touchdown as you see it there. Bo Allen, he just waited for Dylan Bracken. Yep, they had a little levels crossing pattern, a, a short cross and a deep cross, and uh, the Colonels ignored the deep cross, allowed him wide open in the back of the end zone. So in with the extra point with 3.47 to go in the first quarter, and this extra point is huge because, of course, it can tie this game up, Coach, and in there to uh, kick the extra point, Max DeGraff. So DeGraff, I think he's the younger. I think he's a younger brother of um, Zach DeGraff, who's an outstanding student. I think Zach's going to Princeton, Coach. That's an outstanding student. Pretty sure. good student. Absolutely. So DeGraff in for the extra point on the hold to Klein, and this would tie it up at seven with 3:47 to go here uh, from Dennis Griffin Stadium. High snap, 
And Klein gets it down with good hands. The kick is up, and DeGraff nails it. We're tied at 7-all with 3.47 to go here in the uh, first quarter. Lexington Catholic and Covington Catholic doing battle here tonight at uh, Dennis Griffin Stadium. It is 7-7. Seven seven. Very, very good game. Very good game so far. Pretty evenly matched. The mistake by Catholic on the punt snap that went over the, the punter's head was the difference in the, in the game being a tie. And then again, Lexington Catholic with Bo Allen perfectly thrown passes and then running the ball himself, Gary. So we are we are where with the community. This is Park Hills, Kentucky. Park Hills. Gary Ball is familiar with this area. He's worked in every place yeah. in this. I sure have. In this northern part of the state. Yeah, I did college football games down at Dixie Heights I, for Thomas Moore College. We played at the old. You and I passed Dixie coming up here, and then we came on down here to Park Hills to Covington Catholic. And it is seven to seven uh, so far here in the first quarter, Coach. Uh, Cub Cash showing no signs of uh, really stopping this vaunted passing attack by Lex. No, they stopped themselves one time. That's it. You're right. Absolutely right. 7-7 seven, seven score. And here is uh, DeGraff with the uh, kick. And it is a uh, deep kick. And it's taken by Cuffcath out to the 10, 15, and return. Move. And Boydston to the 20-yard line. And he's tackled right there, Michael Boydston. Really nice job of tackling by, by Gallagher. Gallagher. Sean Gallagher, man. He's, he makes a lot of tackles. Oh, he's he does. Leading tackler for Covington Catholic coming into this game. Not a big guy, 5'9", 168 you pounds. Have, coach, you know what? In high school football, you don't have to be a real big guy. You no, know what you saying? just have to be tenacious. Yeah, and tenacious aggressive. and tough. Yeah. It's not the size of the dog. It's the size of the fighting the dog. You got it right. I see a lot of dogs out there fighting right now. <laughs> and clawing. Woo. We got a 7-7 seven, seven score, and Cove Catholic will take over at their own 21-yard line. Caleb Jacob, the quarterback. Twins both sides. And he's back to pass over oh, near side. Incomplete as he tries to come over to uh, Owen Nally. Owen Nally, the intended receiver, threw it low and incomplete second down. They've got a, an interesting situation there, too, because I think what they've got, they, they've actually gotten a, a receiver that I'm seeing is, is breaking open in the middle, and that's Pete Mayer, number 18. Yeah, yeah. He's running a little post, a skinny post pattern. It looked like he was open that time. Jacob just didn't see him. Reardon at 6'5". He splits out to the near side. They got slot uh, to the left and motion to the near. Jacob back to pass. In inside handoff. Nally, and he is stopped in the backfield on a big-time play turned in by the Knights, and that was 72 in there, Coach. Big man coming in there. And wow. Two, that's uh, Graham Castle, 6'3", 265. He stormed the castle. That was awesome. Um, that was what we used to call a wraparound draw. It's a, what, what we call a slow draw. You let, the, you let the defensive line come in and almost get past that guy when you hand him the football. Problem was they stopped and made the tackle. Triple re receivers to the bottom. Four. And rolling that way is uh, Jacob. He, Caleb looks, and he is hit as he releases, and it's going to be incomplete as the uh, player was draped all over Michael Mayer, and no flag probably could have been some incidental contact there. Well, I don't know about incidental, but there was some contact there before the ball came. Yeah, there was some contact. They were all over him, but, you know, the referee, the official felt like that they were there at the same time as the ball. Yeah, so. simultaneous, I guess. Yeah. So here's the uh, punter for Cove Calf. Back deep near the – and the uh, punter is number 86, and he gets it off, and that is Lowry. Good and punt. it's going to be Lex Calf taking it midfield. Corbett down to the uh, 45, knocked backwards there, and a good tackle, and number 20. And let's see who brings him down there. That's – Molecule, Molecule yeah, makes a play, and I tell you, he sent a message to him when he got up. But Molecule said, "You know what? You better stay down there." Yeah, and Corbett's—he's slippery. He really is, and that was a really good tackle. Well, Locked, he got him in—he got him in, in the Cub Cat territory to the 45-yard line. So, good job by the punt return man, Jackson Corbett. Yeah, just just uh, two minutes and 40 seconds to go in the first quarter, and we've had a great first quarter. And it's uh, first and ten for the uh, Knights. Ryan Nichols in motion. 
Quick pass out there. He's got the catch down to the 45. Nichols dives down to the 42-yard line. Let's see where they mark him out of bounds at the 40. So pick up about five on the catch by Ryan Nichols. And you can really credit over there a couple of guys for Cove Cav making that play. But uh, Thielen was over there, one of them. But the problem is, Gary, they're not over there when he catches the ball. Yeah. He's making that yardage, and he's free and clear. Bo Allen sees the, the flare and says, there's nobody on him. I'm going to yep. throw it to him right now. That's right. And uh, this is the Mingy Beef Jerky High School Football Game of the Week. Gary Ball, Mike Meehan, and William Warfield up here at Park Hills, Kentucky. Lex Kath and Cove Cav. Lexington Catholic on the march. Second down at the 40 of Covington Catholic. Bo Allen rolling right, setting. Bo Allen setting. Here comes pressure, and he breaks the tackle down to the 30. He's got the first down, and they're going to mark him at the 35-yard line. Bo Allen chased out of bounds, but first down for Lexington Catholic at the 35. They should have had him back at about the 40, 42-yard line. Right, and then he did the smart thing, Gary. He ran out of bounds uh, in, in order to uh, – you know, you don't want to get that extra hit right on the sideline. So, next, nice job by Bo. Eddie Eviston, the head coach of the Colonels, and, of course, Nigel Smith, the coach of Lex Cav. Twins to both sides. Ryan Nichols in the backfield out of the shotgun, but Bo Allen gives it fakes now. Bo cuts oh. it back and trips up, being chased by Michael Mayer and company. Gets a couple of yards. Lost his footing. Yeah, if he hadn't lost his foot, uh, his feeding, uh, his footwork there, coach, he could have got uh, a, a lot of positive yards. He could have. I think he just tripped over the the grass or the fake grass. I guess you could the say turf the turf monster. Tur the turf monster got him. This is a big down. These these second downs are important to Lexington Catholic. The the Knights like to run the screens. They like to run the crossing patterns. Uh, We're gonna have a timeout called by, I believe Lex Kath called that one. Yeah, yeah. It's Lex and Catholic timeout with a minute 52 to go in the first quarter. We remember uh, we'll have uh, breaks here. We want to thank uh, some of our sponsors. We want to thank uh, Lexington Diagnostic, Bluegrass Orthopedics, Sutherland Chevrolet. Don't text and drive from Sutherland Chevrolet, Bumblebee Team Sports, Rafferty's Restaurants, Whitaker Bank, Lexington Catholic at the Athletics, and of course Lexington Catholic looking very, very good tonight here so far. Coach, we played first quarter action. We're tied, and uh, Lexington Catholic's on the march. They've got the ball at the 33 yard line, second down at about eight, maybe uh, seven yards, and. Um, Bo Allen, is, uh, you've got some stats. He's looking very effective. I, I do, but I'm not sure he updated the stats. Um, I'm not getting them updated. It still says he's four for six. So. Yeah, he's about uh, six, six for eight, yeah. maybe seven for nine, something like that. So second down, and you got Dylan Brackett along with Jackson Corbett split out to the far side. Klein is spit out to the near with Blake Buson. They're the near side. You got a tight end to the left side, and Bo Allen, here comes pressure. Bo Allen steps up, Ooh. and he's going to be sacked at the 38-yard uh, line. And coming, who was that to got him there, Coach? 57. That's uh, Martin, yeah, Carter Martin. And, and also and, Felix. Yeah, Felix was on the bottom. Martin was on the top. So they sacked him with a minute 32 to go in the uh, first quarter, 7-7 seven, seven game. Uh, Lexington Catholic scored on a touchdown pass from Bo Allen to Dylan Bracken. And uh, Cuff Cass scored on a, a quarterback keeper by their outstanding uh, junior quarterback, Caleb Jacob. Third down and 12 on that sack back at the 38-yard line. Here's a flag down before Lexington Catholic uh, gets the playoff. Had a wheel right going on the top side. Uh, outside man ran a little curl. Inside man ran a, a takeoff down the sideline. So it's called against the uh, Cove Castle instead of third and 12 will be third and a more manageable seven yards. Yeah. Now, now see, they can go back to their normal offense as far as the little crossing patterns and shallow underneath patterns. So third down and seven. And back in the game is a play. He's a young man of the UFO last week, uh, younger brother Tyler Buss, and the uh, young man who was a UFO. Remember him? Uh, absolutely. Third down and about seven at the 32 of Cove Cath. Lex Cath and Bo Allen looking toward the sideline. And they're barking in that play over there. And they want him to hurry and get the playoff. And Bo Allen just gets it Flair's off. Flair's open again. And he's looking for the pass. He's cutting it up to the uh, 30. Hit. Breaks a tackle by Michael Mayer. And, yeah, boy, Mayer doesn't, and gets it down to the 28. Michael Mayer, had, I tell you, you don't see many guys break that tackle. But Bo Allen, he's down. He's uh 
Slows a flag down is what the problem is. There is a penalty flag down. Again, I'm, I'm really surprised by Bo. Honestly, Ryan Nichols was wide open on that flare pass again. Don't, don't ignore that. He's open. Let him run. He's one-on-one -on -one with the defender. He can beat that defender. So we're waiting to see what the uh, call is. They're talking to Eddie Eviston. And yeah, look at, the, look at the flare on the replay. Look at the flare up yeah, there. Yeah, he would have gone a long way if oh, he got absolutely. it out there to him because there was – and they're going to decline. They're going to decline and bring up a fourth down. So fourth and about four. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised he didn't go to Ryan Nichols out there on that flare uh, pattern. He, he, there was nobody out there. He had something else in mind, and, and honestly, don't turn down those easy plays. Fourth down at the 28 of Covcalf. Corbett. With Klein, they got Busen splitting out to the uh, near side along with uh, Jack Goman. Motion by Corbett. And Bo Allen tucks it, and he breaks it to the near side. He's got the first down and more, takes it down, and he's hit out of bounds. Let's see if there's going to be a late flag. No flag as he's at the 19-yard line. Would it be first and goal? Oh, what a play. What a gutsy call, by the way. That was run all the way. Really nice job. Well, when you got Bo Allen with his running ability, I mean, six touchdowns coming in and also three touchdowns rushing coming in. Yeah, well, he, you know, he chose that one himself and did a really nice job of breaking the tackle. He's got it first down at the – they didn't give him the 19. They gave, well, they did give him the 19 at the 19-yard line. Twins out to the top. Ryan Nichols goes in motion away from us up here. And back to Flair's pass, Bo Allen. In. He's looking, looking downfield, throws it in the corner. Touchdown in the back of the end zone. Touchdown. Perfect throw. See what we're talking about. Jack his Goldman. Skill, his touch on the ball, Gary. That perfect touch is put it over top of the defender. Look at really this throw nice by Bo Allen and Jack Goldman. Number 14 was breaking in the back of the end zone. Look at this again, Coach. He waited, uh, Bo Allen back there patiently. He waited his time, bided his time. He saw Goman break open, then flipped it to him, and look at the great catch in the back of the end zone by Jack Goman. They're trying to run man-to-man -man against these guys, which is pretty successful when you go right down the field. But when you run those crossing patterns, those defenders can't keep up with those, uh, those receivers. Klein will hold, and the graphs kick is up, and it is... Uh, through the upright. So 14 to 7, Lexington Catholic takes the lead here in the first quarter. 27 seconds to go here in this uh, first quarter. And I tell you what, Coach, it looks like Lexington Catholic has come here to play tonight. Yeah, it really does. And um, I'm, I'm really impressed with the skill level of Lexington Catholic as far as their backs out of the backfield, their routes that they're running uh, with their uh, receivers. Just pretty impressive. Um, we have a, I have a score, Gary. Okay. What uh, is it? Douglas, 23, Lafayette, zero. So what happened? I mean, Lafayette, they go in, they play Scott County, very tough. Uh, they almost beat them last week. And then they come up against Douglas. Is Douglas that much better than Scott County? I, I don't know. I, 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 I hate to put it this way, but I've watched Lafayette before. And for some reason, when they have really big games, they fall by laying an egg in, in the first half. So we'll see how they do in the second half. So Boydston is uh, back uh, deep for the uh, Colonels and also back deep there for uh, Covcath is uh, Sean Below waiting to receive this uh, kick coming from DeGraff. So it's 14 to 7, Lexi Catholic on top, 27. Here's DeGraff's kick and it'll be uh, Boydston at the 12, 15, 20. He's out to the 25. Ooh. Boydston to the, breaks the tackle the 30. Nice return up to the 33 yard line by Michael Boydston. Yeah, nice tough return. And yeah, nice uh, tackle there made. And Ethan Fraser and Dylan Bracken made the stop. Dylan Bracken's in a lot of plays. And he's a great receiver. Yeah, he is. I tell you, we've had two. Uh, he had the first touchdown catch, and then we had uh, Goldman with the second touchdown catch. It is 14 to 7, and Covcan, for the first time this year, trails. They, have, they didn't trail in their well, games nobody, against Ryland. Nobody Coop. scored nobody on them. Nobody scored on them. Covcan is. Allowed 14 here to Lexcath. And motion man, get back inside the uh -oh. 35, up to the 40. Good run and a stop. And let's 
up to the 40 yard line. That's Boydston. Boydston picks up about eight. And that was Ryan Gallagher making the stop. And John Martin Sims coming up again. You got to be real careful when those safeties are coming up making the tackle. First quarter will come to a close, and Lexington Catholic will lead Covenant Catholic 14 to 7 as we head to the uh, second quarter here on the Prep Spin High School Football Game of the Week, the Mingy Beef Turkey High School Game, 14 to 7 with the lead for uh, Lex Cath as they're on top of uh, Cuff Cath, 14 to 7. And the uh, touchdown passes tonight, Bo Allen had two of them. Bo Allen now on the season, he has eight touchdown passes on the season, and uh, they are on top, 14 to 7. So 14 to 7, and we'll be back here on uh, prepspin.com, the Mingy Beef Jerky Game of the Week. Did you know in addition to education assistance, UPS now provides housing for qualified employees. Through the UPS Kentucky Living Options and Opportunities Path, also known as UPS Kentucky Loop, you can work part-time in Louisville, go to school at Jefferson Community and Technical College, and receive housing for up to two years. Earn a degree or learn a trade. It's up to you. Loop benefits are available to those who live outside the Louisville metro area. Whether you're just starting college or going back to school, it's time to get in the loop. For more information, visit upsjobs.com. That's UPS Jobs. Back here at the Dennis Griffin Stadium on the uh, campus of Covington Catholic. And right now the Colonels have the ball. And they have it at the 40-yard uh, line, second and two for Jacob. Inside oh, hand and man. hit hard is Boydston. And he slammed down. That's a big play by Felipe Arumba. Arumba Number 50 me. made the stop back at the 39-yard line. That's a loss of about three, maybe four yards. That was pretty good defense by two or three different players. I really like the way Arumba's playing. Arumba has a, a skill to go under the, the blockers to make those tackles. So pretty third good. down here in the second quarter, 11.35 to go in the first half. 14-7, Lex Kath on top of Covington Catholic. Twin receivers to the bottom. Boydston back there with Caleb Jacob. He's back in the pocket. Jacob looking, looking. He dances up, and he's going to run it. He is up to the 40 hit and slammed down just short of the first down on the uh, tackle there, turned in, and that was turned in by uh, Jackson Gentry. Gentry came over and made a really good tackle on that. Got the first down, though. That's a big thing. barely got it. Yeah, yeah, he got it, though. They were just – the, the Knights were just a shade late on that to get that tackle. Approaching 11-minute mark of the uh, first half, 14-7. to seven. Lexington Catholic on top of Cuff Cath. Both teams highly ranked. Uh, Cuff Cath was number one in 5A, and Lex Cath is number three in 4A. And that 5A is tough. Yeah, you got uh, South Warren in there. You got uh, some of the, uh, you know, you got Scott County. You got, what, Douglas. Caleb Jacob pump fakes to Mayer deep, and it is off his fingertips, incomplete. And back in uh, coverage back there was 33 back there in uh, defensive coverage. That's Chase Blair back yeah. in coverage. What they're doing to, AJ, to Michael Mayer is they are actually shadowing him with, an, with a, a short a linebacker, and then the defensive back in zone is also double, double covering deep. they got to figure out a way to get him open down the middle. That's his best bet. If they're going to try to get Mayer in this game, they need to get him open in the middle. Thielen and Reardon go to the top. Twins to the near side. Now motion to the far side. And a give and a hit by Felipe Rumba as he tackles uh, the <laughs> ball the ball carrier, David Brunson. Boy, Rumba's tough right now. Playing a great football. Brunson, the, uh, they tried the old jet sweep, didn't they? They did. And Brunson I, uh, he Ruba could, got him in the backfield, third and about 11. Yeah, they, they set the edge where he had to turn back inside, and then Arumba was there to put it to him. So you got Molecule to the near side. He stands 6-4. Twins out to the top. Boydston in the backfield. Caleb Jacob back to pass. Jacob steps up, throws there it, and go. it's called Molecule down to the 40, and he's down to the 35-yard line as he, he broke the tackle of John Martin Sims and picked up another seven, eight yards to the 35. Great job by Molecule. That is what I'm talking about. It wasn't Meyer, but you have to get those – you have to get those seams in the middle. If you can get the ball to that middle, that's going to pull those linebackers to step back. Your running game's a little bit better, and then your outside receivers will be one-on-one -on -one if you're successful with that. Covington Catholic, uh, Mayer splits out to the far. He goes over there with Reardon. 
Both of those guys. And to the near side, Molecule, he is 6'4". Motion to the near side by Michael Mayer. Trap. Inside handoff. Boydston to the 30. He's down to the 27-yard line. All right, that's the motion trap. They're bringing the big tight end. They step him back, so he's in the backfield. He motions across and then kicks out on the edge player, the defensive end, on a, on a trap play. We see that a lot in college and even in the pro game. Fast-moving first half, Coach. We have nine minutes to go in the first half of action. It's 14-7. to Lexington Catholic on top. Cuffcath on the march, I might add. They have it uh, second down and two at the 27-yard line. Jacob back to pass, fires it to nice. Michael Mayer. First down. He is down to the uh, 20-yard line. He is stopped there by Gallagher. Michael Mayer with the first down inside the 20. So Mayer with the, another catch. Gallagher with another stop. They're, step, they're bringing him out for a play. Uh, Gallagher's doing a really good job of, of locking on to him, trailing him across the field and getting in on the tackle. But he needs help. Cup uh, secondary has a great crowd. It's a great crowd here. But look at Lexington Catholic. They brought a lot of people over there. They have a really nice crowd over there. First down at the 20-yard line. Boydston over to the left in the backfield. And Felix. Felix with the ball. He is hit by DeGraff. Spun around. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Big play there by Zach DeGraff. Yeah. Six foot six. And, and Zach reached out that big old hand. I know when you're six six, bone, you got big paws. And grabbed the hold of him. Otherwise, he would have turned upfield and probably got a first down out of that. Seven minutes, 52 seconds to go first half. This is the Mingy Beef Jerky High School Football Game of the Week from Dennis Griffin Stadium, campus of Cove Cath and Lexington Catholic uh, Knights and the Colonels of Covington Catholic. 7.42 to play in the first half. Lexington Catholic leads 14-7. to Two touchdown passes by Bo Allen in this game. Good drive so far for the Colonels. Yeah, they have it inside the 22nd and 10 for Caleb Jacob. Long pause. Here's back to pass. He fired. Oh, oh, right through the hands of Boydston. And a room bay, if he'd have been looking, playing the ball more than the running back, might have had him a pick. He knows it, too. He's frustrated. He said, all I had to do was step in front of that. Yeah. I'd have gone nothing but green, uh, fake grass as far as you can see. Yep. I don't know if we're going to see that again on replay, but. No, it, it was. It big, was big play there for Felipe Arumba. He should have been caught, though. The ball was right there. Yeah, it was right down to the receiver's hands. Third down and 10 for Covington Catholic. 7.26 to play in the first half. Reardon goes to the top. Molecule out to the bottom. Mayer's a tight end to the right side. He's going downfield, and quarterback throws it in the back and end zone. Incomplete. Brings up fourth down. I don't know. Jacob's off a little bit to me, Gary. They're going to try a field goal, I believe. And you got something to say about this young man who kicks field goals. I do. Uh, he's going to be our UFO at halftime, and I want everybody. If you're when you're wa you're watching this game, stick with me at halftime. You have got to hear about this guy, and maybe there's a way you can help him out a little bit. Trey Granati from the 27, be a 37-yard uh, field goal attempt, and the kick is up, and it's plenty of leg, and it is through the uprights. Cool. That could have gone another 15 yards. 14 to 10, Lexington Catholic on top. 7-16 to go here in the first half from uh, Covington Catholic High School. And Trey Gennady comes in and nails a 37-yarder. Let's talk a little bit about uh, uh, Lexington Catholic's defense, Gary. They're really doing a good job. I mean, they're playing against an extremely good offense. And I love the way they're playing Michael Mayer. They're playing him like, well, it's a, basically it's a double team, one playing man, one playing zone on him. And uh, Gallagher chases him, puts his hands on him, keeps his hands on him across the, the formation. Once he gets in the secondary, the one defensive back comes up and gets involved too. So they're taking him out of the game. So I think the other receivers for uh, the Colonels are going to have to really step up and play some good ball here. But again, we're right there in the second quarter. Like you said, it's going fast. 14 to 10, 7 16 here in the first half. And Lex Kath will send Dylan Bracken back deep, and he will receive this Granati kick. He's back at the five yard line. You got to watch Dylan Bracken. He's a sneaky fast back there. <laughs> he really is sneaky fast, and he doesn't mess around either. He doesn't dance around. He's going he's gonna to find a hole and run to it. 7 16 to go, first half. Granati's kick. And it is going to drive Bracken back deep in the back of the end zone and be a touchback. That's the way you keep him from doing something right there. Kick it out of the end zone. 
Well, I'll tell you what now. We're going to see what Catholic can do. They've been pretty good at, at throwing the football, but running, Bo's running has been the key right now, Gary. At the 20-yard line. Bo Allen committed to the University of Kentucky. He committed early. Um, often. And often. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a pretty special player, pretty special quarterback. Bracken uh, looking for the play over here along with Corbett, and they finally get the play. Ryan Nichols is to the left of Bo Allen at the 20-yard line, and Nichols goes in motion. Bo Allen looks out that way, looks down the middle. He throws it deep, and it's going to be caught, and down to the 40-yard, breaks a tackle. That's Busen. Oh, Busen breaks a tackle, 20. He is going to the house. That is an 80-yard touchdown wow. pass to Blake Busen. And Busen is what year, McGarry? Sophomore. Oh, come on. Sophomore. I tell you what, you talk about a combination. Bo to Busen, absolutely gorgeous pass. And he looked like he looked like he was going to lose his balance and fall on the turf. Looked like he was going to get tackled at about the, what, 45? Uh, and he tripped a little bit and, and kept his balance and, and got to the goal line. Nice job. Busen with the uh, his first touchdown catch of the season. And it's an 80-yarder. Catholic, bro, well, you talk about answering. Answered that field goal with an 80-yard touchdown. Max DeGraff comes in for this extra point, trying to put him up 21 to 10. The kick is up by DeGraff, and it is through the left side. So Lexington Catholic, what a great answer to the field goal by Covcath. They score on an 80-yard strike. And by the way, there it is right there, Coach. Breaking tackles is Busen, and he takes it in. Being chased by Michael Mayer, Busen with an 80-yard touchdown catch. And it's uh, Lexington Catholic 21 and Covington Catholic uh, 10. They got the field goal. What a great uh, drive there. And that's the third touchdown pass of this game by uh, Bo Allen. And, and he's had several good runs, too. So Bo Allen's in this game. He's in it all the way. Now, I'm a little disappointed in, in Jacob, uh, Caleb Jacob. I think he's a little off with his throwing. I think if he, he, if he gets himself together, they're going to get back in this game real quickly because he's got some really big, tall receivers Weapons. to throw to. Yeah, he does. You're talking 6'5", 6'5", 6'4". Can you imagine? Was that like that at Boone County back in your day? Uh, we you? didn't have receivers, Coach. We just ran the ball. <laughs> we didn't need a 6'5 receiver. No, he would have just if blocked. If we had one, we never would have thrown it to him. No. But anyway. Yeah, he would just block. So, Boydston back deep. Along with Nally, it looks like, back there. Oh, Sean Below is to the near side, waiting this to graph kick. What an answer by Lex Gaff. What an answer. Now let's see if the Colonels can answer. See if they've got something in their tank. DeGraff into the uh, ball, and it's coming to the near side, and the, he'll take it at the 5 to the 10. And Boydston, he's oh, out to the uh, out 15, 16-yard line, hemmed in, and a bunch of players got down okay, there. Okay, let, me, let, me, let me make a point, one of Coach Meehan's famous points, all right? You're playing against 11 people on defense. If you catch that ball on the sideline and run straight ahead, you maybe have two people you have to beat. But if you go backwards and try to get to the middle of the field, you're back with 11 people trying to tackle you. I don't like those numbers. I don't either. So Caleb Jacob triples out to the far side, and he has – is that Boydston over there, Coach, in the backfield? To the left of him, I believe it is. Back to pass. Fires over the left side, and it's uh, caught. And let's see who that was. That was at Schneider, number two. Pierce Hall made the stop. See, that's okay. You got five yards on first down. That's okay. We'll, you know, we'll take that. That's not a bad job. So five-yard catch made the, the tackle made by Pierce Hall. Second down. Jake Jacob back to pass. He gives it up the middle and close to the 25-yard uh, line. Yeah, it's going to be third and real short. Yeah. Third and short. This is big, isn't it? Yep. This is one of the biggest plays of the first half for the Colonels. They've got to get this first down. And I don't know. I mean, they haven't been – they have not been very good on, on, on short yardage. Boydston is in the backfield left of the quarterback, Jacob. Third and short. Gives to Boydston up Good the gut. He's got the first down, and he's got it up to the 31-yard line. And making the uh, tackle there 
was Gallagher, Ryan Gallagher. Yeah, and really nice job of blocking. Pierce up Hall there tripped too. him, but yeah. Gallagher made the stop. Five minutes and 38 seconds to go in the first half from Dennis Griffin Stadium, campus of Cuff and the Colonels have it, 30 yard line, going left to right. Jacob fires it over there, and he's got Reardon, and he made the catch, but he's tackled immediately over there. Yeah, there's a difference between uh, the Colonels and the Knights. Knights are throwing those screens out there. The guy that catches the ball gets his one block downfield, and he's got a good 10 yards. J.D. Woodall was over there making well, the he hit. came up right away. I mean, yeah. He just came up right away to make the tackle. Um, uh, giving credit where credit's due, number 72, Jack Pick Pickstick is – doing a really good job of blocking for the Colonels right now. Second down at about nine for Caleb Jacob, 6'4". Big quarterback there for Cub Camp. Back in the pocket, looks, fires it over the right Pushing side, it. and it's caught. First down, and it's caught. And that, I tell you, they are using a bevy of receivers, Coach. We're going real deep. And that is a Pete Mayer. And I tell you, these are guys that aren't even listed on my depth chart, Coach. Yeah, I'm, he, I'm having to write them in. And he's the littlest guy, and he's six foot one. And it's an amazing offensive uh, offensive scheme. They just they got to get these receivers open in that second level. Selection the captain doing a good job of covering that first level. First down up at the 45, and Thielen lines up on the left side, tied in. Jacob back mm -hmm. to pass. Caleb looking, looking. He's got all day. He steps up, and he is going to be tackled at the 45-yard line. Mm -hmm. And this is who got in there and got him, Coach. Uh, right down by number 35, 30, Patrick Farrell. 35 and got him. Yeah, Arumba was Patrick, in again. <laughs> Patrick Farrell made that stop. And Arumba again, he gets in on it because he goes under the defensive, uh, under the offensive blockers to make the tackle. 21 to 10, Lex Kath on top of Cub Kath with uh, three minutes, 40 seconds to go in the first half. Yeah, Colonels want something this half. They want oh, yeah, they got to get another score. Motion to the uh, near side by Stava. Here's a. Jacob sets, throws. He's got time. Again. He's got the catch down to the 40-yard line by Molecule. Andy Molecule to the 40. Molecule's made a couple really good catches, really good plays. He's getting open, again, behind the linebackers in front of the, uh, the secondary, in yeah. front of the safeties. I think Ryan Gallagher made that hit, didn't he, Coach? Yeah, again. Again, he's an outside linebacker. So at the 40-yard line, first and 10, 3.15 to go, and that clock is moving. Yeah, I think uh, I think the Colonels have realized Eddie Evanson that he's got to hit some other receivers. Quit looking for the big man. Michael Mayer comes in motion. It's a trap again. And they give to the second man through down to the 30. Strong running there by Daniel Felix. Boy, Felix uh, picked up about 12. First down to the 29. Again, that's that same thing where they're trapping with the tight end. Michael Mark Mayer comes across and traps the edge man, kicks him out with a running back and cut inside. Catholic has not had an answer for that yet. So brings up first down on that uh, run by Daniel Felix. Uh, Felix has got some good numbers. We'll have the stats for you at halftime provided by Kenny Bourne and WL Stats. Covcath on the march. You're down by 11. Little screen over the middle. It's caught. It's caught by Felix. He's dancing to the 20. Back inside down to the 15. Still on his feet to the 10. Five. Felix takes it in. What a touchdown catch by Daniel Felix. That was a really nice job on the screen pass. This time it was a middle screen. They hadn't had much luck on the outside. They go back to the middle screen. We'll probably see that again. And just a really good job of picking up his blocks. Although, you know, I got to say, uh, the tackling wasn't very good. There was a lot of arm tackling going on there. Here yeah, we go. they missed about three tackles. Right, 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 goes right in, there, right. miss. Right in the middle, there's a miss. There's another miss, three misses. Yeah, you can't grab these guys. You have to bring them down. You have to lock up on them. You're not going to be able to grab these dudes. Granati's extra point is up, and it's a beauty. 2.26 to go, and things getting interesting here. Oh, Lexington Catholic 21 and 17 for Covington Catholic. Lexington Catholic will receive the ball here with two minutes, 26 seconds to go before halftime. We'll have a special halftime. Well, it's our typical halftime. We'll have... UFOs provided by Coach Mike Meehan and William Warfield will be on controls down here. And uh, he's up top is the reason we're not able to run commercials here during the game. But uh, we got the flow going down here okay, Coach? We do. We do. We're, we're kind of shoulder to shoulder in this press box, but it's a beautiful facility. 
We're real happy to be here. Love coming up to Northern Kentucky, watching good football. And this game's turned about turned out to what we hoped it would be. You know what, Coach? It's a lot better than the last time we were here. Oh, my gosh. We were doing it on a uh, telephone, passing it back and forth in about 100-degree heat, sweating our you-know-what off. Yeah, and I was a big baby. I got to admit it. I kept complaining. And, you know, a good, a good broad broadcaster is not going to complain about the heat, but I was complaining about the heat. It was awful. <laughs> well, it was bad, Coach. I agree. So, Dylan Bracken back deep for Lexington Cal. What a good answer by Cubcast. Yep, really big. And we said that. We said after that long 80-yard you know, touchdown pass. Remember, they started back at the 15-yard line mm -hmm. on that return by yeah. uh, uh, Boydston, and they started back. At the, so they took that 85 yards. They can't keep the ball in the teeth. That was the, the longest the drive they've teeth. had this, this evening. Yeah, yeah. 85 yards. Yeah, they can't. So uh, they'll come out and have to. The kicker wants to put it exactly the way he wants it. These holders, <laughs> he says, no, no, no. you got to yeah. tilt it a quarter of an inch this way. Yeah, Brunson will hold it. Bracket back deep for Lexington Catholic. They're in the white, Cubcath in the blue. Here's the kick, high kick. Bracken steps back and Man. in the end zone. So that's a great kick, touchback. Maybe they should hold it every time. What a heck of a kick. So Lexington Catholic will take over at the 20 yard line. And they lead 21 to 17. And coach, this, this has been a heck of a football game. It's been a great football game. We were hoping for that. We were hoping for a really good football game, and we got it. Yeah. First down at the 20-yard uh, line, and you got to watch 85. Blake Buson, he just took the last pass from uh, Bo Allen 80 yards. <laughs> yeah, you better keep your eye on him. He split it, and he would go 80 yards again on this one. He has uh, David Brunson out there on him. Triple receivers to the near side for Bo Allen at the 20. First down, Bo back to pass. Bo Allen steps up, throws it deep down the middle to Buson. He is going to catch it. He is at the 30-yard line. That is a long 50-yard pass to the young man I called out, Blake Buson. Yeah, you called it, and you made that, you made that call. You should be over there coaching, my friend. Uh, again, Bo Allen laid that ball perfectly. But you know what the problem is, Gary? Have He's you, got no pressure. Have you got any stats, Coach? No, just, just not coming up. So we'll have to get them at halftime from uh, Kenny Bourne, who's up above us here. And uh, that takes it. They take it all the way down to the 25, so that is okay, a 55-yard pass. You got him, Coach? Yeah, he's 10 for 13 for 209 yards and three touchdowns. And one of those to Buson, who just caught that last one for 55 yards. So did they refresh those, 55? Yes. yep. So first down to the uh, 25 for he sends Nichols in motion away from us up here. Bo Allen steps up, and he is going to be tripped up and sacked by the young man. Was that Wilson? 80, yeah, 80, 86. John, that was uh, John Whiting. So it wasn't Trevor Wilson, the leading sack man in the state with four. Nope. So he loses on that sack, loses about three yards, second and 13. A minute 25 here in the first half, Coach. See, that's the way you have to stop Bo Allen. You have to put some pressure oh, on yeah. him. Oh, yeah, you better get in there. Because and don't let him run the ball either. Just pin him in and tackle him. Second down at the 29. Bo Allen back. Here comes pressure again. Bo rolls to the right. He's got an open receiver, and he finally throws it out there incomplete. He had two guys out there, and uh, one of those was um, – Monday, Jack Monday, and he was standing there waiting for the ball, but for some reason, uh, I guess Bo didn't have time to throw it to didn't him. Didn't have time to throw it to him or didn't get, a, didn't get a good look at him for some reason. He's reading the coverages. You can watch his eyes. I can't see his eyes, obviously, but if you watch the turning of his head, he's reading from usually from left to right, uh, and he's looking for that secondary receiver, but he's not finding him right now. Tonight on Prep Spin, thanks for watching here. Gary Ball with Mike Meehan and William Warfield, the king of stream, and Boy, what a good football game we have here at the Dave Dennis Griffin Stadium, campus of Covington Catholic. 21-17, Bo Allen, third down. He's back to pass. He steps up, throws it. He's got oh, a receiver, it's and it's caught, I think. Out of bounds. No, they're really out of bounds. It was caught by Corbett, but he was out of bounds over on the far side. So we'll have probably, what, a, a pretty long field goal here, Coach? It looks like it. If you watch his pass, yeah, he's out of bounds. The, the ball got to him just as he got – yeah, out of bounds. Um, again, that ball's sailing a little bit now. Do you see, is there any flag or anything we can see the way the wind's blowing? Anything on the goalpost back there? Because that ball sailed on Bow Allen. That normally doesn't happen. Fourth down, and Bow Allen looking toward the sideline, and they're calling the play, but 
taking a lot of time. They may have to call a timeout here. Yeah, they might have to. If they're going to kick a field goal, it would be good. Yeah, they're not kicking a field goal, but Bo Allen can quick kick. Back to pass. Bo Allen, he steps up, rolls to the right, and his ball's knocked out of there. And it recovered by Cubcat. Michael Mayer knocked it out. Michael Mayer knocked it out with that big old arm reached in there. Yeah, Mayer knocked it out at the end. What a play by Michael Mayer. Yeah, and the, the, the ball was uh, recovered by number 24, Charlie Sora. Really nice job. Um, We're going to look at that again. That was uh, Michael Mayer just reaching in. He just reached in with that big old paw and knocked it out. Yep. I, I think Sora might have been better off trying to scoop that ball and run with it with only, uh, what, 40-some seconds to go in the half. So Daly back there, and they – Give around the right side and to the 45, and that's Boydston to the 49, and knocked down with 39 seconds to go here. And we might have a timeout call. Yeah, we got one. Yeah, timeout because you can't take you can't take them to the locker room with you. So let's talk a little bit about ball carriers. All right, one of the things that you have to teach your ball carrier to do, especially in a situation like this, is you carry that ball what they what they call high and tight, Gary. You carry it across your body, up high on your chest, and put as much body surface on the ball as you can so that a, a team, somebody can't come from behind you and knock the ball out forward. You want to make sure that you lock that ball against your chest, lock it high and tight. And that's exactly what that running back did right then. Lock that ball high and tight. So, a lot of action going on here at the, at the on Covenant Catholic's campus. Like I said before, when we pulled in here, beautiful facility. And behind us, Notre Dame Academy, the girls' school here, uh, which, by the way, has great athletics also. Beautiful school sitting up on a hill overlooking this campus, which is stunning. Second down on that run by Boydston, 39 seconds. Jacob looks at the receiver going out to the left, back in the pocket, looks left. Jacob's going to fire down the middle. It's caught down to the 40-yard line. And let's see. And they're going to pull him down at the 30, at the 40-yard line. That was Molecule on the catch. He's made some nice catches yeah. tonight. Yeah, they know what they're doing here. They're, they're making sure that they're using um, Mayer as a decoy and bringing Molecule across. Nice job. Slot to the left is uh, Mayer, and here's Jacob looking. Th steps up, and it's caught down to the 20-yard line by Molecule. He loses the ball, and it's recovered by Covington by Lex Cath. Yeah, oh, Lex Cath wow. got it at the 15 on the fumble. Molecule lost the ball out of there, and that will probably cause them at least three points. I think yeah. they would at least got yeah. a field goal out I of think that. they would have gotten a field goal, too. They had a timeout with time. If you watch his play, he's just – Again, carrying the ball too low, he's carrying it down on his hip. What did I just say? Yep. Carry the ball high and tight in front of you so that nobody can reach in and knock that ball out. I'm sure he'll be corrected on that. 11 seconds. What do you do here? Of course, you just take a knee if you're like yeah, you put you your knee. you take a knee. You've got a lead. Just go in with the lead. Lexington Catholic and Covington Catholic, the Knights on top, 21-17. And Bo Allen will take a knee down to eight seconds. And... The uh, first half will run out, and, boy, what a first half. Bo Allen threw three touchdown passes, what, over 250 yards passing, yeah, Coach? Yeah, yeah. And uh, they lead uh, Covenant Catholic number one in the state in 5A, 21-17 to 17 here at halftime on the Mingy Beef Jerky High School uh, Football Game of the Week here at uh, the home of the Colonels at, in Colonel Land, as Coach said, beautiful facility here. And, uh, you know, Lexington Catholic gave the ball to Covcath to start the game, so they will receive the ball here. And uh, we're just waiting on our man William Warfield to come down from ten, above here. Ten for he 21. Is, uh, right game. here. It's uh, halftime and 21-17. 264 yards passing so far for Bo Allen. So they lead at 21-17. We'll be back here at halftime with the Mingy Beef Jerky High School Football Game of the Week. Ladies I work really hard, but I don't make a whole lot of money. And now my hours are being cut back at work. I've gotten so far behind on my bills, I feel like I'll never get caught up. We're Atkinson Sims and Kermode. We're not going to judge you. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. 
Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free. In Lexington and now in London. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. There are 50 Whitaker Bank locations serving Kentucky communities just like mine. 61 Whitaker Bank ATMs throughout Kentucky make getting quick access to cash easy. Whitaker Bank staff serves the needs of nearly 70,000 Kentucky customers every day. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. The future of healthcare seems dark at times, but for patients in Kentucky with diagnostic imaging needs, there's a place with clarity and a compassionate staff. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI provides quality patient care while saving you hundreds to thousands of dollars as compared to hospital-based centers. Remember, for your medical imaging needs, you have a choice. Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI. started right here on this farm we may have grown over the years but we've never lost sight of what was important to us we're continuing that tradition today and we always will be for generations to come Welcome back to beautiful Dennis Griffith Stadium on the campus of Covington Catholic High School. We have a big game today, really a good first half. 21 to 17 in favor of Lexington Catholic. The Knights ahead in a very close game, very hard fought game between two good teams. I want to welcome everybody. My name is Mike Meehan and I'm along with uh, the King of Stream, William Warfield and Gary Ball, who by the way is the best play-by-play play play guy in, in, in the world. I tell you, no there's doubt. nobody better. There's no question about it. I want to welcome everybody here, and we, we really appreciate you watching uh, the the games that we broadcast, uh, the Mingy Jerk, Beep Jerky Game of the Week, and William Warfield does a great job in all different... Uh, w uh, how many different um, e venues do you have this thing playing? Uh, so, yeah, right now it's across the, all social media platforms. So we're on uh, our Roku uh, devices for your streaming TV. We're on uh, Amazon Fire TV as well. 
Uh, we're also sending this game to NFHS Network. We're sending it to Prepsman.com, Lexington Catholic's Facebook page, our Facebook page. Coach, it's everywhere. Yeah, and uh, NFHS, Natural, National Federation of High Schools, uh, really good job with sports and so yep. on. All right, what we like to do at halftime is something that we started years ago, and, and I coached for 34 years, and all the time I was coaching, the one thing I really remember and that I noticed was there are a lot of people to get involved in the programs. They don't get a lot of credit for what they do. So we've developed something called the UFO, which stands for the Unheralded Football Overachiever. We've got a couple good ones today. We have the first one from Lexington Catholic is more of a group featuring on one person. And then we have a special presentation for Covington Catholic. We'll start with Lexington Catholic. Lexington Catholic coach Nigel, Nigel Smith chose a group, of un, of his, a group for his Unheralded Football Overachievers. He chose the drivers who drive the team to all the games over the years, not just football, but other activities as well. To represent them, he chose Bill Grant. Bill was recently retired and was one of the bus drivers for multiple Lexington Catholic teams, such as retreats, sports, and other events. One of the things I remember dealing with bus drivers were a lot of times late at night, games were going to overtime. Surprisingly, you're driving a bus at midnight coming back from different places. We played games in Indiana when I was at Dunbar. We played games in Ohio. And these bus drivers, whether it be Greyhound or school buses, were very, very dependable people, people that were safe drivers. So we all appreciate them, and we appreciate Bill Grant, Lexington Catholics, UFO, unheralded football overachiever. Now, let's jump over to Covenant Catholic. I talked to Eddie Evanson today, Coach Evanson, and he basically – he brought something to my mind that I think is really special. He chose as his unheralded football overachiever a, the kicker for his team, Trey Granati. Now, Trey has gone to clinics in Vegas, in Los Angeles, in Milwaukee. He's gone to these clinics, and he's performed quite well. That in itself would make him a good UFO. Yeah. But there's something really special about him, a good reason why he was chosen as a UFO. Because he's established himself as a very special person to Coach Everston and a very special person to the entire Colonel family. Thanks to, I want to, uh, we're going to put a little video on in a second. And I want to give special thanks to jo Joe uh, Daneman at WXIX TV Fox 19 for sending this, this video. He was very happy for us to use this so we can talk a little bit about what, what Trey Gennady is doing for Coach Evanston's brother. Uh, who is suffering from ALX and uh, ALS. ALS and has been fighting it for years. So the Team Believe Foundation benefiting Brian Eviston. Let's take a look at this video. This is everything he needs. Just a pile of footballs and a pair of cleats. You can't say enough about it. He doesn't say anything when he kicks. Because what he's doing for his football family you know, means a lot to, to me and to our family. Says more about this high school kicker who's kick starting a goal by kicking field goals. Trey did all this on his own. They're one of the best football programs in the state, and the kicker at Covcath might be the best in the state. A junior who can hit from more than 50 yards this year. There's a goal to every field goal and a point to every extra point. Trey Granati wants to make kicks. It means a lot more to do it for someone you know. And make money to help kick the disease that hit his coach's family. Every day I step on the field, I, I know I'm not only helping my team, but I'm helping someone else. Bob, Bob, Bob. And it helps that Trey doesn't miss much in games. Yes, yes, yes. But there's someone at this game who never misses a game. He's, he's our number one fan. It's Brian Eviston, the head coach's brother, now living with ALS for three years. You know, for Trey to, to step up and, uh, you know, try to, you know, continue to push and be a part of the fight that my brother and his family and we all have been a part of is, it's just unbelievable. Trey Granati believes he can kickstart a movement, taking pledges for every point he scores this season for Brian Eviston's Team Believe Foundation. It's hard to watch um, him and Coach Eviston go through this. Um, you can tell it, 
it's it's hard for them, but he, he fights for his life every single day, and he really is an inspiration for every single kid on our team. Okay, watching that video, I think you can see what I saw when I watched it, that I know he's a really good kicker. And talking to the young man, he's a really good human being also. And I want to congratulate him for that, for those two things. But also, you know, come on. A guy like that, a young guy who's willing to give his time and his effort to, uh, to ra help raise money for a good cause. Now, I, I will tell you that I watched that video and I donated to that website. Donated, I donated to Kicking ALS with Team Believe. Be, be in quotation marks, believe. Um, honestly, if you have an opportunity, take a look at that. You can pledge anything. You don't have to pledge per kick, anything. Great job by him, and I want to congratulate one more time Covington Catholic's UFO unheralded football overachiever, the field goal kicker, and extra, extra special nice guy, Trey Gennady. All right, let's take a little break right here if we can, and we'll be back with some statistics in a few minutes. This is Mike Mann. We're on the prepspin.com. Wingy, bingy, mingy beef turkey, game of the week. Some things never change. Like the sound of pads crushing against the equipment, the feel of cleats on fresh cut grass, or the deep breaths from a full practice. Another thing that never changes, the feeling of relief when the whistle blows for break. And the savory snack to go along with it. This is a moment to remember. This is a Mingi moment. I'm on a fixed income. Credit cards help me balance the money that's coming in and what I need to live on. I've thought about bankruptcy, but how am I supposed to pay for it? Sometimes the people that need help the most are the very people who can least afford it. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78. Now, the consultation is free. In Lexington and now in London, work really hard, but I'm struggling to pay my bills on time. I've gotten pretty far behind and I don't know what to do. Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Start your bankruptcy for as little as $78 now. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in London. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 496 Kentucky schools. Over 282,000 students benefit from Whitaker Bank's Kentucky education initiatives. Whitaker Bank has contributed almost $441,000 to education programs for the advancement of Kentucky's youth. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. We're back here. It's uh, 21 to 17. Uh, Lexington Catholic on top of uh, Covington Catholic here at halftime. Uh, total uh, yards uh, for Lexington Catholic: uh, 257 yards to 224 for uh, Covcath in that first half. Eight minutes and 22. Eight minutes and 32 seconds of time of possession. 15-17 for uh, Covcath. Individually, Bo Allen ran the ball 10 times for uh, 21 net yards. And then Bo Allen passing was 11 for 16 for 264 yards, three touchdowns along with 80 yards. 
in the uh, first half. Jackson Corbett caught three passes for 70 yards. Blake Buss and uh, Busing caught two passes, 135 yards for a touchdown. Ryan Nichols, two catches, 16 yards. And uh, Jackson Corbett had the uh, one punt for 13 yards. Ryan Gallagher led the tackle a, char- a charge for uh, Lex Cath. Company Catholic, uh, Michael Boydston had uh, six carries for 41 yards. Daniel Felix, uh, five carries for 28 yards. Jacob just uh, three carries for six yards. Passing, uh, Caleb Jacob was 11 for 17, 147 yards. His coach said a little bit off in that first half. Uh, receiving, Mo- uh, Molecule had four catches for 73 yards. Michael Mayer, three catches, 24. Daniel Felix, uh, one catch for 29. Pete Mayer, one for 14. Uh, John Lowry was the punter, 40 yard average. Uh, Molecule led him in tackles with three and a half tackles. Wow. Let's look at the scoring here in the first half very quickly, Coach. It was uh, Cuffcast scoring first. Caleb Jacob won a one yard TD run. Dave Granati made it seven to nothing, 541 mark. In the uh, 347 mark, Dylan Bracken, a 12 yard pass from Bo Allen. Max DeGraff's kick made it seven to seven. Lexington Catholic came back 27 seconds in the first. Jack Goman, a 19-yard pass from Bo Allen to Graff's kick made it 14-7. Lex Kath, Cuff Kath came back. Dave Granati with a 37-yard field goal, made it 14-10 at the 7-16 mark of the first half. 7-0-1 mark, it didn't take long, Coach. Blake Buson with an 80-yard haul-in pass from Bo Allen took it to the house. Max to Graff's kick made it 21-10. That was the biggest lead that Lex Kath would have. And then uh, Cuff Kath came back. Daniel Felix with a 20-yard pass from Caleb Jacob, and that made it where we stand right now, 21 to 17 here as we uh, uh, get ready to start the uh, second half of action here as uh, from uh, Covington Catholic. Real uh, found the real the Colonels found the real weapon with molecules. I tell you, Gary, he's having a really good game. Other than the fumble after making a great catch and run, it kind of lo- let loose of the ball and that hurt him right there. Well, getting ready to start. We've had a good game so far. Let's see if it keeps matching up to what we're doing. So, Coveting Catholic will be kicking off to uh, Lexington Catholic. Back deep is, uh, that's looked like Dylan Bracken back there for the uh, Lexington Catholic Knights. It's a great opportunity for the, for the Knights here. If they can get something going, maybe get another score on the board right here early in the second half. Granati's kick, and... Left, and it's back, and it'll be Bracken coming out, taking that to three. Five, he's at the 10, 15, 20, and Bracken, good diving out to the 25-yard line. That's a return by Dylan Bracken. Okay, let's see what happens. The Colonels are going to have to make an adjustment with Big Bo, Bo Allen just to, just to figure out a way to stop him from throwing the ball in. How good these LED lights. None of the houses back over here in the off, you can see on our camera, uh, are affected at all by these LED lights that – uh, light just the field is all they like. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's amazing. So twins to the far side for Bo Allen. And he has in the backfield with him. Uh, we're going to check the running back as the official steps in and he wants to move the yard marker. The yard markers were way off. I don't know what the heck happened there. I believe that's Eldridge in the backfield with. Bo Allen. Uh, Nichols is not in there right now. No, he isn't. So, twins out, and Eldridge goes in motion away from us. Little flare out there to him. He catches the ball out to 25. He's to the 30, turning on the Jets. A nice run up to the 45-yard line. I can't understand why they haven't adjusted that flare pass. They're, they're, they're showing the pass right away, Gary. That was a nice pickup of about 24 yards up to the – and you know what? Eldridge nearly broke that one. He did on the sideline. the far sideline. The sideline made the tackle. First down. Twelfth man over there. Blake Busen is out to the near side. Cover two shell. Eldridge in the backfield with Allen. Motion to the near side. And give up, and that's going to be uh, Ryan Nichols. And he is running down to the – let's see where they marked that at, down inside the 40 yard. Looks like maybe the 39-yard line. Nice pick up there of about 15, 16 yards. Absolutely. On, here we go with the replay. Nice job breaking outside. Good blocking downfield. There you see Felix uh, hustling over to make the play for Cuffcast. Yeah, number 60 for Catholic. Gary made a great block on that. They got it down to the 39, and 
It's 21 to 17. Lexington Catholic on top, and they're on the march at the Cuffcat 39 yard line. Michael Pitts with that good block down the field. Motion, Corbett, Bo Allen cuts it back, and he's going to be tackled at the 38 yard line. Making the stop is at Carter Martin. Michael Mayer making the stop. Michael Mayer underneath that pile made a big tackle. Leading tackler. He'll play tight end at Notre Dame next year. He's going to be a January, an early entry into Notre Dame, January. Awesome. And look at him play defense, too. Wow. Pick up of about two. If he doesn't make that play, I'd say Bo Allen's uh, still running for a first down or running. And you got uh, split out Bracken and Corbett to the near side. Blake Busen, the younger brother of Tyler, is out to the far side. He has a touchdown catch in this game. Motion to the near side. Here's a pass out there, and that's Eldridge with the catch down the 30-yard line. Good shoulder. Lowers his shoulder and runs over top of the company Catholic player, and that's uh, Molecule. Yeah, now they're they're expecting Jackson Hodge to come from the inside linebacker area and cover that flare, and Gary, he can't do it. There's no way he can get there. They've got to figure out a way to, to invert the secondary. Maybe bring one of the safeties up to take that pass. 10.52 mark of the third quarter, third and about, uh, let's call it three, Coach. They need to get down inside the 30. They're at the 32-yard line. This is big. Third down for the uh, Knights. Nichols goes in motion away from us. Bo he Allen, he passes it out to Abusen and makes the catch, turns around, takes it into the touchdown. As the catch is made by Blake Busen, and he starts cramping up, <laughs> but he took it into the end zone. He did. Uh, he got turned around, and when he made that last little twist, you could see him grab his calf. Muscle. Second touchdown catch of the night by Blake Busen. Let's look at that again, Coach, on the replay. Now watch the safety. See the in safety invert, invert up to take care of that? That left it open. Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson, Bo Allen did a great job of reading that. Yep, there he yeah, goes. left cramp. He's cramping yeah. immediately, and they're working on him. That is uh, Blake Busen. I tell you what, he had six catches, 101 yards coming in. He's got a big night tonight, Coach. Yep. And and again, let me let me explain here. They were they were trying to cover that flare with a linebacker, so they adjusted. They inverted the safety when the safety came up to to, uh, to take care of the flare pass out of the backfield there. Then Bo Allen said, uh-oh, safety's coming up. I'm going to hit that guy down the middle. He's a smart quarterback he coach. He is, but, but I want to explain something. He was covered. They had two people on him, and he just made a tremendous Tremendous pass. Catch. It yeah, was. He, tremendous quarterback. And I catch, tell you what, I know Gary. everybody talks about Terry Wilson, and he does win. I'll give him that. He's a winner. He won 10 games last year, but I tell you what, when this Bo Allen gets to Kentucky, if he's not their starting quarterback, then I haven't seen a quarterback coach. Yeah, he's uh, he, he, it depends on how he goes early. If he goes early and then he can work on reading coverages, taking a look at SEC coverages, because it doesn't matter what you do in this preseason stuff. Four touchdown passes tonight for Bo Allen. Yep. He now has ten on the season. Yep, and my point is three of those four were perfect throws. That was a catch. That was an amazing catch. Yeah, and Busen's still down. Still working on his uh, cramps. His brother, talk, tell us about his older brother, all the entries he's had. He was a UFO last week for, for the game we did last week at Catholic. Yeah. Um, his, well, Tyler Tyler Busson is his older brother. Yeah, Tyler just, he's had so many injuries. He's three had, surgeries, right? Oh, three surgeries. He's had uh, uh, ankle injuries, knee injuries, and so on. And yet he came back and has done a super job helping the team. He can't play football anymore. But that's why he's a UFO. He's still helping this football team do everything they can to be yeah. successful. And great UFOs tonight, Coach. Thank Goodness. you. I really enjoyed it, both of them. And uh, we had that great video from WXIX19 on Granati. 40 to nothing Yeah, o they, over Lafayette, by the way. They scored three special teams touchdowns, Douglas has, in that Jeez. game, according to a, a text I got. Oh, boy. So it's 27-17 here. Lexington Catholic on top of Cubcath in the third quarter. 10:44 to go, and Busen's up and he's okay. He's, he's just okay. cramping. He's a tough guy. And the kick is up and by DeGraff, and it is good on a good hold there. Max DeGraff extra point, and that makes it 28 to 17. Uh, Lexington Catholic uh, up, and uh, you know Lexington Catholic they've got the sales next week at home. 
And uh, Kevin Caddick just goes down the road here, just a couple miles to Dixie Heights, and plays the red, the red Colonels, the Blue Colonels. Will play the Red Colonels <laughs> next week down at Dixie Heights. Dixie Heights, the Red Colonels, huh? Yep, they're the Red Colonels, and Cub Gas, the Blue Colonels. Well, Bo Allen's up to 321 yards passing and four, 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 four touchdowns. touchdowns. Yeah, I mentioned Paul Layden. He was a quarterback here at. Uh, Covington uh, Catholic uh, several years ago, year, many years ago when I did the games for Covington Catholic. Paul Layton is now a doctor out in uh, California and doing very well. And uh, he was one of the young men they chronicled in the uh, paper here. Uh, they sort of had him do diaries in the paper. And uh, Paul Layton was a very obviously an intelligent young man. He's a doctor now. Another young player here, Brian Williams, a, who was a receiver here and defensive specialist. Uh, he passed away, unfortunately, in the, in the 9-11 attacks at the World oh, Trade wow. Center. Yeah, I remember we, they mentioned that before. Uh, Blake uh, Busen, 167 yards receiving. Boydston back deep. <laughs> Here's the kick. Takes it at the 5. Out to the 10. Boydston to 15 to 20. 25. Uh -oh. He's got a lane. He's at the 40. And the kicker comes up and gets him. Good job. Outstanding job of Max to grab the kicker to get him at midfield. That's, that's the a, second time that's tonight a second, he saved a touchdown. That's the second job, he, a second saving touchdown he made, and all he's doing is reaching down and grabbing that heel, that ankle, and bringing the, bringing the uh, runner down. The runner needs to pick those feet up. Yeah. Get by but, that kicker. But a good return by Boydston. Yeah. Michael took it all the way down to the 47. He took it back at the five, so about a 50-yard return. And uh, Covenant yep. Catholic will set up with 10:35 in the third. They're trailing 28 to 17 to Lexington Catholic on top here on Prep Spin. Can they answer, Gary? Give inside and breaking tackles, and that's uh, he Felix. He fumbled, and then Lex Cass got it at the 37-yard line, and the return was made there. Number two came up and got it. John Martin Sims on the return. I hope we can. Fumble recovery. I hope we can see this play again if we can. We'll take a look at the way he's carrying the football. And, again, it's it, you have to practice that, carrying that ball high and tight, carrying it close to your body, keep people from reaching in and knocking it loose. So Lexington Catholic has come up here to Covenant Catholic's uh, Dennis Griffin Stadium and played a well of a ball game to this point. They got the ball back on the fumble recovery, and that was made by John Martin Sims. At the 37-yard line, 10-27 here in the third. They lead 28-17. to 17. I wouldn't surprise to see Lexington Catholic go deep on this first play. Twins out to the top. Motion by Ryan Nichols. Bo Allen looks out there for Ryan. Little flare. Hype, and Nichols can't come up with the catch. Uh, that, that didn't look like a normal Bo Allen throw. You notice how he hitched a little bit first, like he was going to throw it, and then he changed his mind. But, and but you know what, it. Coach? you got to account for that play. Nichols out there every time. And yeah. When you're a Cubcat defense, you got to account for that guy out there on the flare pass. Yeah, he's putting them on, a, uh, on an island out there. They're going to have to figure out a way. They're going to have to put a spy on Bo Allen so he doesn't run the football. And they're going to have to figure out a way to invert or something, do something where they can cover that flare pass. Woodall and Bracken out to the top. Receiver to the bottom is going to be Corbett. He good. goes in motion. Bo Allen gives up the gut and running hard up to the 40. Still going to the 43-yard line. Tackled there by a host. Uh, Michael Mayer was a leading man in there. That's a good hard Ryan run. Ryan Nichols, yeah, he got about five yards out of that. Yeah, good hard run. Ball came loose there at the yeah, end, did. But, but he was down. They said he was down by contact. Yeah, and I want to explain something. Logistics here don't allow us to call for an instant replay. You know, yeah, because Williams way up on top of the press box, and we're down here inside the uh, press box. That's right. So we can't ask for a replay. So yeah, third down and five at the. They've got to get up to the forty-seven and a half for a first down. Third and five. Big down. Big down for Bo Allen. Back to pass. Here comes a rush. Throws it. Bracken's got the first down down to the. 48-yard line. Dylan Bracken on the catch. Back on uh, coverage was uh, Daniel Felix. Super play call. Super play call. They're going to go ahead and hit that middle of the field because of that dual safety. If they can get the ball behind the linebackers in front of those dual safeties. Again, they're running a, sh a cover, cover two shell defense. It's zone all the way across. Uh, the uh, the two safeties are, are on, the, on the hash when the ball's in the middle of the field. Right on the hash. First down and going away from us, Corbett. They give up to gut, and Nichols is going to dive down to the 37-yard uh, line to pick up close to 10. 
And in on the stop was uh, Felix again. Felix is in on a lot of stuff. Yeah, Daniel hey, Felix. when we were driving up here, you and I were talking about uh, about how they had to establish a, a running run game. game. A run I don't game. mean for just this game, for the rest of the yeah. season. It looks like they're trying to do that. Exactly, right now. they really are. They they lead twenty eight to uh, seventeen with eight forty five to go in the third quarter. Lexington Catholic uh, thir- uh, second down and about a yard and a half. Motion now by Jackson Corbett. There's the flare. Bo Allen, and he tucks it, and he's close to the uh, first down marker. Let's see, coming up to – yeah, he's short of it. Use that big body to try to reach out and get ahead of the first down. Felix, and Daniel Felix again on the tackle. (laughs) He's everywhere. My goodness. So third and less than a yard. they got to get about maybe half half a yard, Coach, not even a yard. Yeah, Yeah, not even a yard. So Monday comes in. He's split out to the left. And football purists don't like that. If he lines up in a shotgun with a half a yard to go on third down. But actually, he's in, he, he could possibly be in two more down zone. He could go for it on fourth. Third and less than a yard. Bo Allen pass, and it is caught down to the 30-yard line, and it's going to be a first down. And Jack Mundy on the catch. That was nice, very nice. 6-1 sophomore. Raysback made the stop for Covenant Catholic's defense. First down for the Knights at the 28-and-a-half of Cub Cath. And I tell you what, Coach, they're moving the ball here very well in the second half. Scored on their first drive, and uh, now they're – Moving it well here down to the 28-yard line. Not afraid to pass on third and half a yard. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh-oh. Nichols hit and stopped on a, a good play. And the 86. And that was a John Lowry making that Bam, play. Bam, nice job. Yeah, John Lowry got in there in a hurry. Nichols didn't have a prayer that time. Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know why Bo screen. gave him the ball, Coach. Yeah. Because there was two defenders in the backfield. Yep. Second down and about 15 back at the 33-yard line. 7-18 to go in the third quarter. And Lexington Catholic leads Covcath 28-17 here. Gary Ball, Mike Meehan, William Warfield, King of Stream. Second down. Bo Allen back to pass. Here comes pressure. And he is sacked Ooh. at the 40-yard line by Michael Big Mayer. Man. Big Mayer. Big <laughs> man. He is the mayor on that play. He looked like a bear on that play. Look like a big grizzly bear. They got to block, block him, coach. They got to block him. Better block him. Third something, down. Something else was in. Somebody else was in there to force that that uh, Bo to step up, and then Mayor just cleaned it up. Yeah. Third down and twenty. Boy, this is big. This is big, big, big. Because they will have to punt it from here. Yeah. They. I mean, they were down in field goal range, but they're not now. You that was what? down when they were inside the uh, twenty-eight. I might sneak a uh, uh, a punt here. You know what? A, a, a no, quick, quick I, punt. I would try a pass because they've been effective. Motion. Here's a little flare. Nobody's on. Out him. to the far Again. side, and he is going to keep running, and he takes it down. Let's see where they mark him out of bounds over yeah, there. Thirty. And the uh, that was Eldridge. As Darren Eldridge made the catch down to the 30-yard line, so it'll be fourth and about 12 from there. Going to try a field goal from here. Brings up a fourth and 12. No, they're going to go for it, Coach. Man, watch the screen pass. Six minutes, 19 seconds to go in the third quarter. 28 to 17. Colonel's on top. Colonel's better look for a screen. Second and about 12. They got to get down inside the uh, 30 to the 29 for a first down. Eldridge in motion to the near side. Bo Allen back to pass. Airs it out. Throws it down the right side to Bracken. He comes around, makes a catch down to the five-yard line. What a catch. Bracken came back inside of two defenders. There were two defenders there, David Brunson, one of them, and he came inside of them. And I hope we can look at that again. What a catch by Bracken. How do you choose who to cover on this team? How many different people are catching the football? Pretty incredible. Yeah, that was another great catch. Actually, you know, the ball was kind of just thrown up there. And uh, well, when Bracken stepped in there and grabbed it. Yeah, Bracken cut inside it. Like I said, two defenders. Yeah. So, Bo Allen in business now. First and goal at the uh, five, maybe the six-yard line with uh, Eldridge behind him. Twin and we're going to have a flag down. And it's going to be Proceed, against yeah. procedure, motion, against motion, motion against yeah. Catholic, Lexington Catholic. Because yeah. you say Catholic, in this game it could be Covington or Lexington. Yeah. yeah. Next week it will be the red colonels and the blue colonels. <laughs> yeah, tonight, tonight it's the colonels and the knights. Yep. So that will move it back to the 11-yard uh, line. 
Five minutes of clock running, five minutes and 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. Touchdown here would make a big difference. Oh, it sure would, Coach. It would put them up by a couple of scores, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's 28 to 17. All right, they're playing man-to-man now, Gary. Bo Allen passes near side and incomplete. Uh, Trying to go down there to Corbett. Surprised them this time. Instead of lining up in that zone, they line up man-to-man all the way across the field. That gave Bill, uh, Bo a little bit of surprise that time. I don't know if he realized that. that. That's tough. That makes a difference. Now watch. Lexington Catholic's really good against man-to-man if they come out man-to-man again. They'll run a, uh, crossing patterns underneath crossing patterns and shallow crosses. I, I've seen a lot of improvement tonight, Coach, in this defense for Lexington Catholic yep. since last week. Yeah, a lot of them. And that's what they have to do the rest of the season, play good defense. Blake Buson's back in there. He split out to the near side. Triple receivers to the top. Ryan Nichols in motion. Zone. Looking to pass. Bo Allen rolling right. Breaks a tackle. He's got an open receiver. He had Ryan Nichols wide open, screaming for the ball, and that would have been a touchdown, Coach. Yeah, couldn't quite see him. we got another cramp going on down there at the end zone. You can, you can just see these cramps. He had Ryan Nichols over on the, on the flats. Nobody went out to cover him. He would have had a touchdown, Coach. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what. Had a little collapse of that pocket. That made a little bit of a difference. So, so 5 4 to go, and we have a timeout because of the player down and cramping uh, on the field for the uh, Lexington Catholic Knights. If you're just tuning in to Prep Spin, Gary Ball with Mike Meehan and William Warfield, King of Stream, 5 4 to go in the third. It's 28-17, to Lexington Catholic on top of Covenant Catholic, the number one team in 5A. Lexington Catholic, uh, number three in 4A behind – Let's see, Boyle County, and uh, who else is ranked above them, Coach, in 4A? Oh, man, I don't Lexi, know. I know Boyle Gary, County's ranked man. up there. And Boyle and Danville, they play, uh, do they play this weekend? I don't think Danville's 4A, so I think they're 2A. Yeah. So, but I'm talking about 4A, the 4A class. I know Boyle County was number one, Catholic is number three, and uh, still got a long, lot of time here because the young man is down with his uh, cramps. cramps. Yeah, Is Bowling Green in that in that? Yeah, they're, they're five A. Yeah, they're, they're five A. They're five A. They're, they're, you know what? That's the uh, same player. That's uh, Blake Buson. <laughs> Eighty five. It's cramping again. Same cramping. He's had a well of a game tonight, Coach. Yes, he has. Being attended by the trainers for Lexington Catholic. Lexington Catholic in the white tonight. Blue numerals and Cub Cath in the blue with the white. And if you're just tuning in. Got to realize you got one of the best quarterbacks in the state, Bo Allen, this game. You got one of the best linebackers in 87, Michael Mayer. For, and he's already, boy, he's made his presence felt tonight. He stripped the ball in one play, caused a fumble. He's had a sack, so he has been all over the field tonight. Yeah, he's played really good defense. So they've kind of cornered him on offense where he's not been a factor at all. So triple receivers to the left. Ryan Nichols is in behind Bo Allen. Snap to Bo. He rolls to the left. Bo looking, and he throws, and it's going to be incomplete down near the goal line. So fourth down. I think they might try a field goal here, Coach. They, a field goal would help them right here. It would put them up by 31, put them up by two touchdowns. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're, they are going to try it here. So they're going to bring in their – so Ray's back was in the coverage back there for Covington Catholic. So it be the right hash. They're going to place it down at the 23. The holder will be Klein. And DeGraff is the uh, field goal kicker, Max DeGraff. Klein will hold it at the 22, waiting for the uh, placement. Snap is back. Good snap. It's kick is up, and it is going to be good. Uh, what is that, Coach? A 20? What was the distance on that? Uh, we'll look at that again, Coach. Yeah. Check the distance on it. But a field goal makes it 31. 31 to 17, so Lexington Catholic leads by a couple of touchdowns. That, that field goal helped them. It really did. It yeah. gave them that, you know, that lead. 32-yarder, yeah. I believe it was. So good, good, good kick. Both teams have really good kicking games. That, that's a that's a sign of good championship football. You got to be be strong in all three phases of the game. Yeah, yeah. And, and they both both teams are 31 to 17. Lexington Catholic by two touchdowns with. Uh, 4.51 to go. A lot of time left in this game, Coach. It's only the third quarter. Right. I like seeing these field goal kickers. We we saw, uh, you could tell a little story about uh, the, the kicker for Boyle County. Um, we saw him at an eighth grader 
in an eighth grade championship game kick a 51 yard field goal. And now he's kicking for the varsity of Boyle College. So DeGraff set to kick off. He just nailed a 32 yard field goal. 451, 31 to 17. Lexington Catholic on top of Covington Catholic. Can the Colonels answer? That's the question. They've, done, they've answered before. Boydston drives him back to the five yard line, out to the 10. He's to the 15. Good block. And he's hemmed in at the uh, 20, cuts around, and returns it up about the 22 yard line. Uh, Michael Boydston on the return. Boydston with the return. So, Boydston, well, these lights are incredible here. These LED lights. I mean, you look look at it, Coach. It lights nothing but the field. I mean, the stand, the people in the stands even look like they're in the dark. It, it's just amazing. I, 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 you pointed it out to me, and it's it's like uh, it's something completely different. The lights are just perfect. The I think they're only is, the second school to get LED lights in the state. The field is perfect. Look well, at those that. Those are Musco lighting. <laughs> Twins of both sides for Caleb Jacob. The 6'4 quarterback, Junior, fakes now into the line, looking to pass, and he throws it and reared it out there, and it's all nearly picked off, reaching up at the last moment on a good play by J.D. Woodall. J.D. Woodall, who we know is a good defensive back. We've, saw, we've seen him before make great plays. I think the ball was just slightly underthrown. If he would have led him a little bit more, would have been a touch. It would have been, yeah. Well, it would have been a long game for sure. Yeah, it would all couldn't have caught him. It would have been a touchdown. Yeah. So, intended receiver out there was Ethan Reared in the six-five junior. Twins of both sides for Jacob. Gives now the running back, and he mm, takes it. There. That's going to be Boydston, and he's going to take it to the 25. So it'll be third down and seven at the 25-yard line. And he's another Lexington Catholic player is cramping up. Oh, boy. Got a little time out here. Let's get some water in him. Let's get some fluids. I don't think it's very hot out there or anything, but I just think the pressure and playing on the field and – Traveling and all that makes a difference. Good all right, let's, let's look at some stats here real quick. Yeah, good Cheers. crowd here tonight at uh, Covington Catholic. This is Dennis Griffin Stadium on the campus of Covington Catholic. Uh, Coach and I made the trip up here tonight for this prep spin Mingy Beef Jerky game of the week. Thanks to Mingy Beef Jerky for making it possible. We have a good time traveling like that. We don't do it that often, but it's really nice to be able to solve the world's problems as we're traveling along. Yes, sir. You got some stats there, Coach? I do. Bo Allen, 18 for 26 for 373 yards and four touchdowns. That's pretty incredible. Uh, Ryan Nichols, four carries, 27 yards. Big yards, though. Bo himself has run the ball 14 times. He's had some sacks, and that kind of puts him in the hole a little bit. Uh, reception, Blake Busen, three for 167 yards and two touchdowns. He has had a night. Jacob back to pass, steps up, comes to the near side, and he got the first down up to the 34-yard line. Yeah, really nice job of uh, catching up to him. Uh, Mufop, Mufata. And Gallagher. Yeah, Gallagher was there. Mufata caught up to him to make the tackle. He's every really intense player. Clock is running, 3.50 to go in this third quarter. Lexington Catholic 31, Covcath 17, but Covcath has the ball first down at the on the run by Jacob, 34-yard line. Triple receivers to the top, and Michael Mayer in motion to the near side. And Jacob looking, looking, passes down the left side, and it's going to be Mayer with the catch. Mayer down to the 33-yard line, and a good play turned in by Kamunga Mafata, but not before Mayer already called the ball. Mayer had those huge hands. He just reached back and grabbed the ball right over defenders. Now, that's the first time, really, in since the first quarter, he's been a factor in the passing game. Thielen uh, comes in, and Mayer leaves the lineup. Mayer going to get a little break. At the 32-yard line, Covcalf, Boydston. To the left of Jacob. Fake gives it to the uh, ball carrier down to the uh, 25, and he runs it down. That is going to be Nally. Ball security, Nally. Ball Nally. That's important to you right now, ball security. Hold on that ball. He takes it down inside the 20 to the 24-yard line, second down and two for 
Kevin and Catholic, 245 to go in the third quarter. Lexington Catholic on top here, 31 to 17. They'd love to get a touchdown here, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah, they cut it back to a touchdown. And Jacob passes left side call over there by Reardon, and he takes it down inside. He's got the first down down to the 19 yard line. Ethan Reardon, the 6 5 junior. They're going to drive this ball. They're going to use that, this clock up. They're driving the football. Catholic needs to figure out a way to put a stop to it, maybe get a turnover of some kind. You really don't they've, want them to score here they, in the third quarter. They've recovered two fumbles in this game, right? Yeah. Lexington County. Yes, they have. So, Moleku is out to the top. you got to watch him. Reared in. Here's a Jacob back to pass. Throws it in the uh, back oh. of the end. In, incomplete trying to go in the end zone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty good throw. Pretty good throw. Yeah, Michael Boydston, the intended receiver. Yeah. And, uh, and I think it was uh, our man that we've been talking about. Mufana making the play. Yeah. Kim, Kimwanga, is that it? Kimwanga yep. Mufana? Yeah. First game he's played in for Lex Cat. Well, that was very impressive. He was right on him all the way. 2-11 to go here in the third. Molecule splits out to the top with Reardon. Jacob. Nally gets a handoff. Oh, wow. To the 15 and tackled right there. And they're wanting, wanting a uh, collar tackle. Yeah. They normally aren't going to call the horse Bracken. collar if the, if the guy falls forward, Gary. Yeah. Bracken made the, made the tackle. Not before now. They got good yardage down to the, what's that, about the 12, I guess, 13? Yeah, third and short. Third and what, maybe two? Man, I tell you what. They've got. A minute and 37 seconds and counting here. They would love to get this touchdown in the third quarter. Oh, yeah, they sure would. not carry it over to the fourth. You got to watch big Michael Mayer. He's a slot to the left here. Jacob looking out that way. Gives to the uh, running Ooh, back nice and hit tackle. hard. And uh, that was a good tackle there, Coach. Who made that hit? Getting up off that pile. That's big 51. That's uh, You know who that is, Felipe Arumba. Arumba. Fourth and about a yard. I like Mr. Arumba. I love the way he plays defense. Very aggressive, plays low, gets leverage on the offensive alignment. Good job. Covenant Catholic, they send Reardon and Boydston out to the top. Fourth down for sneak, man. long count. Slot right, give to Nally, and he is going to take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Nally. Wow. 44 seconds here in the third. They do get that third quarter touchdown, Coach. Yeah, it's really important that they got it in the third quarter. That gives them a full quarter now to try to get back in this uh, game, get ahead. Thing is, they haven't been able to slow Lexington Catholic down. No, they point. haven't, no. So they need the extra point here by Granati. Cut it to a touchdown. And Covenant Catholic, 43 seconds here. And placement Ooh. down, kick is up, and it is just through. Everybody's great for that kick. 31 to 24. Lexington Catholic leads uh, Covenant Catholic, number one team in 5A in the state. Lexington Catholic, uh, number three in 4A in the state of Kentucky here at uh, Davis Griffin Stadium, campus of Covenant Catholic. We have 43 seconds left here in the third quarter. On preps, we want to thank Minky Beach, our Catch the uh, Kentucky Scoreboard Show tonight with Rick Shaw and Don Atkins, 10 to midnight. They'll have the Kentucky Scoreboard Show with uh, coaches' interviews all over the state, scores from all over the state. The Kentucky Scoreboard Show with Rick Shaw and Donnie Atkins, Friday nights at noon on 630 WLAP in Lexington. There, there, there's a lot of games tonight, but there couldn't be a better game than this game. This, this is, is a great excellent game. Excellent football Excellent game. high school football game. And Lexington Catholic leads 31 to 24. Shout out to all our friends that are listening or watching the game on yep. Prep Spin and Shout different out venues, man. Gary Durbin, G Gary, uh, Chris Heiler, the Brueggemann family. Shout out to the Brueggemanns. Chris Heiler. Linda Meehan. Chris Heiler? Yeah. Chris Heiler. I coached him at Bryan Station. Yep. Yeah, he was a tough guy. So Bracken back deep to receive this Granati kick. Here it is, and Bracken. At the uh, 5, he comes out to the 10, 15, 20. Stutter oh. beats a man at the 30. 
And he is going to take it up to the 35. <laughs> a good return by Bracken to the 30. Dylan Bracken, 36-yard line. It was uh, Jack Sava making the uh, stop there for Covcat. 35 seconds here. And the uh, Knights lead the Colonels by a touchdown, 31-24. to Great game. Getting ready for the fourth quarter. Should be a really good, exciting fourth quarter. Yep. Man. Beautiful night, too. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous Kentucky night. You got one of the best quarterbacks, probably the best quarterback in the state, Bo Allen. Look at the numbers he's put up tonight, Coach, against arguably one of the best linebackers and, and tight ends in the state of Kentucky, Michael Mayer, going to Notre Dame. Absolutely. Bo Allen going to Kentucky. First down up at the 36-yard line, Bo Allen gives to Nichols, diving up to the 40-yard line, and he stopped there. And, Ryan Nichols with the carry. That was uh, Trevor Wilson coming up to help out. And Mr. Nichols has established himself as a good running back here tonight. I think he's going to have a great future for the rest of this year. He's got a good night going tonight. How many yards does uh, Mr. Nichols uh, have? Uh, first of all, can you tell me what year he is? Uh, Brian Nichols is a senior. Man, I'll tell you what. He, I got him as a senior. Been, he's been impressive. Sure has. Yeah. Uh, Nichols is a 5'8", 175-pound senior. Nichols. That's going to do it for the third quarter. As we head to the final quarter to the fourth quarter, Lexington Catholic leads Scubcat 31 to 24 here on uh, Prep Spin. And, of course, it's the Mingy Beef Jerky High School football game of the week here tonight on Mingy Beef Jerky. And uh, thanks to Kentucky Orthodontics and Invisalign, Drs. Durbin Morris and also uh, Garner. You can get that $1,500 discount if you mention Prep Spin, Atkinson, Sims, Kermode. The Scholastic Ball Report, Sundays at 11 on the CW uh, at noon. Sundays at noon, Lexington Diagnostic and Bluegrass Orthopedics, Sutherland Chevrolet, and want to thank them. Uh, Sutherland Chevrolet says don't text and drive. Uh, tell you about the uh, show Sunday, the Scholastic Ball Report. Coach, we got uh, our team of the week is Franklin County. Franklin County Flyers, the team of the week. Uh, they are on the show. We got Henry Clay Scholars, uh, DJ Van Horners, one of our scholar athletes, 4.3 GPA. And a good quarterback. Oh, yeah. And uh, Sarah Shadwick has a 4.6 GPA. Uh, Charlie Boone has a 4.7. We got a nice feature, too. It's on Josh McClurg, the quarterback at Douglas. That's our feature this Sunday at noon on the Scholastic Ball Report yeah, on I, the CW. I, I really like how you, you don't just concentrate on one sport. You have a lot of different sports. You, yeah. you take care of the, the females, the males, yeah. everything. Yeah, got, really good job. We got volleyball, soccer. And you on. have good interns. Yeah, we got really good interns this year. Great interns. Second, go. Second down. At the 40-yard line, motion to the near side. Bo Allen looks out to the left, throws it, and it is caught, and it's hauled in there by Corbett, and then he's tackled at midfield, but he's got the first down. Corbett with that first down, and the hit was made there by John Lowry. made, And he got up a little uh, gimpy on that shoulder, Coach. A little bit. He kind of, kind of rolled over on it. Um, interestingly, they playing a little man-to-man -man now on the flare pattern. And the reason that man is open in the middle, like that wide open in the middle, is because Bo Allen has too much time. They've got to figure out a way to get to him. Good job by this offensive line tonight, protecting the big superstar quarterback. Triple receivers, motion to the near side, and he's the flare Whoa. out there. And pass over the middle to Corbett at the 40-yard line hit, and then upended. By Michael yeah, Mayer and company. To one, Corbett, Corbett uh, that's about a half a yard shy of the first down. So we have uh, 11 uh, minutes, five seconds to go in this game. And Lexington Catholic trying to uh, set up their own march here. They're only up by a touchdown, 31 to 24. Man, I'll tell you what, there is some hitting going on out there. Uh, that was Michael Mayer. Charlie here. Sora. Charlie Sora ran right over an offensive lineman right over him and hit Bo Allen just after he threw the football. Triple receivers out to the top for Lex Cav. Nichols in the backfield. They hand to Ryan. He dances. He's got the first down down to the 37-yard line. That was Ryan all him, Gary. Nichols, yeah. It was. Ryan nice Nichols play was turned in by Martin. Carter Martin made the stop. Well, Nichols was stopped in the backfield, but he got loose. Quick little ball. jump cut. Lexington got him loose. It's a beautiful facility here, great lighting. And Covcalf, I tell you, they've done it right here, haven't they, Coach? Oh, absolutely, without question. At Dennis Griffin Stadium. Great hospitality here, Coach. First down at the 37. 
Nichols goes in motion away from us, and we had a lineman move. Oh, man. And big DeGraff, big uh, Zach DeGraff, uh, left tackle. That's going to hurt. Got to move him back five yards, so it'll be first and 15. Ten minutes to go in this uh, football game. Lexington Catholic 31. Covenant Catholic 24. Lexington Catholic has it. They would have had first and 10 at the 38. Now they got first and 10 at the 43. Yeah. Or, yeah, first and 15. Yeah, you really me. don't want that mistake now. You're moving the ball well. Ball control is really important here with the lead that you have and just uh, nine minutes to go, almost 10 minutes to go in this in this ball game. Splitting out to the we got twins to both sides. And here's. Bo Allen, and he is going to keep it and be tackled. I'm not sure he got to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he did, but he uh, is gang so. tackled by a host of people. And, and Thielen. Yeah, Ryan Nichols, they brought him around this time, uh, kind of like compared to what Covenant Catholics has been doing. They brought him around to, uh, I don't think it was the trap. I think it was just the seal, the, the off-tackle hole, so that Bo could run to the I, outside. I, I tell you, this quarterback going to Kentucky, Bo Allen, has really, really played well tonight. And this Covenant Catholic defense, they know they're up against one of the top defenses in the state of Kentucky. Yep, absolutely. Bo Allen back to pass. He's looking right side. He's, he's gonna, the the whistle's going to blow, blow that play dead. They threw it right away, and I don't know why they didn't blow the whistle right away. I can't figure that out. Yeah, we had another procedure penalty against uh, so it the came Lexington Catholic. Against the Knights. So Lexington Catholic up by a touchdown, but they keep – they're moving the wrong way, Coach. They're moving the wrong they're way. They're going back instead of up. They had it at the 37. Now they're going to be at the uh, 47. Yeah, I think that one was a, uh, one of the outside people uh, moved that time, a little ahead of the snap. A little anxious. That's all right, a little anxious. Eight minutes and 54 seconds to play. 31-24, Lexington Catholic on top. Now they're a little bit discombobulated yeah, as Nichols is confused. coming in from the sideline and they're getting a play from over there. Oh, time out here. Get a, get a breath. Goldman, who caught a touchdown pass in the first half, splits out to the left, twins out to the top for Bo Allen. Bo Allen back in the pocket, stepping up. He throws it, and it's going to be almost oh, intercepted. Almost. Not sure why he went that way. He had Goman wide open down the middle yeah, of the field. Kind of forced the ball in there. And number five, I guess, we got a player well, down on the, the sideline. Yep. I can't tell who. There's a player down and looks like but it's less a, than a Catholic player. Yeah, it looks like a white jersey. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a night. So that was a pretty good collision right there on the sideline. So what's the penalty? Not sure, Coach. Another procedure penalty? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So that's the third straight procedure penalty. They declined that one because it's second and second it was, Cincinnati. Uh, it was Nichols who was shaking up a little bit, but I think he's going to get up and walk off. He's got a little gimpy uh, ankle, but he's going to walk go off on his own power. Yeah, he's a tough kid, tough guy. So it'll be third down and what, 25, Coach? No, third and 20. Third in downtown Cincinnati. So third and – we got 8.28 to play. Clock has stopped on that incompletion. I'm not sure why Bo chose to go over to Nichols because he did have Goman streak. If we, if we could see that again on replay, Goman was streaking wide open down the middle of the field. Yeah, he was open. And Goman's had a couple of big plays tonight. Called a touchdown pass. 8.28 in this ball game. Able. It's been a good one up here at uh, Davis Griffin Stadium. For you folks watching on Prep Spin, it's been a great high school football game. 31-24, Lexington Catholic on top of Covington Catholic. 8.28 to play. Third down and 20 for the Knights at the 48. Bo Allen back. Here comes pressure. Sets up a screen. He's got his man to 40, to the 35. Still running down. The, he's going down to 25, 10, 5, and touchdown. That's going to be, Coach, Chase Blair. How do you let a guy, Chase Blair, here's another name. Here we go. Another First receiver. time he's caught the ball yeah. tonight. First time he's caught the ball and he goes, what, 60 yards for 50 yards for a touchdown? Yep, 50 yards, Chase Blair. Ah, here's the Kentucky Loop replay. Let's watch this. Catches the ball on, the, on about the 46. Gets good blocking oh, downfield. Good blocking and makes downfield. a great cut. Stays on the sideline. They didn't pin him to the sideline. Chase Blair makes it a... 
37-24 ball game. Tell me a little bit about Mr. Blair. And Get here's the uh, kick by DeGraff. It's DeGraff up and it's good, and it is 38-24, to 8-16. Cup Cass got their work cut out for him, Coach. Big time. Big time. What an answer by, uh, by, uh, Lex- by uh, Lexington Catholic. What an answer. So Lexington Catholic plays to sales next week. Covenant Catholic goes down the road here and takes on the Red Colonels from Dixie Heights, just down Dixie Highway. The sales has been a strong team, so it could be a game, you know. What a game here tonight at Davis Griffin Stadium at Covington Catholic, a beautiful facility. Boy, they've really upgraded here, Coach. That's unbelievable. I, we were here a few years ago. What a big difference. Superb facility. Beautiful campus, by the way. 8-16 to go in this game, and there's still time for Covington Catholic, but Lex Catch is struck again. What's that, the fifth or sixth touchdown pass for Bo Allen? Yeah, what is that? Uh, yeah, uh, let me check. We'll check it. And the, and the yardage, because that went for about 50. Ken, Kenny Bourne keeps us up on the stats. Uh, send him down to my phone, which I think is a really good idea. So, 38 to 24. Yeah, if we can find him. Bo Allen, 21 for 30 for 439 yards and five. Count them. Five touchdowns. touchdowns and 439 yards. Boy, the uh, Kentucky commit is – Looking good tonight. Against a good defense. Yeah, against one of the better D. They had, nobody had scored a point on them this year. Return up to the 20-yard uh, line. Still returning to the 30. Good job of returning up to the 30-yard line for the Colonels of Covington Catholic. And you wouldn't expect the Colonels to ever quit, would you? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We've known this team before. They're, they are yeah. definitely not, yeah. not that type of player. State champion from a couple of years ago. State runner-up last year. Lost by a touchdown to South. Uh, to uh, South Warren, I believe it was. Yeah, they were loaded. 38-24, to 24, Lexington Catholic with 8.09 to play. Jacobs got Mayer tied into the right side. Boydston out there. Lone receiver out uh, to the top. Slides to the right. Jacob setting up. Wants to throw it deep. Throws it downfield, and it's caught Good up near throw. midfield on a great catch up there by Molecule. Good throw. Got out of his hand pretty nicely. Nice step forward. He kept his front shoulder pointed to the receiver. Receiver came back to catch the ball. Real well executed. Molecule's been the man tonight. Yeah. He has been. Chase Blair made the hit for the Knights defense. Also made the touchdown last, last time they had the ball. 38-24, 7-48 to play. Govcast, Jacob back to pass. Airs it to Michael Mayer. He's got the catch at the 40. Runs over, man, at the 35. And, man, he just made oh, uh, he just made <laughs> Mufata say, you know, hello to big-time football. Yeah, My welcome, goodness. Welcome back to playing football. Yeah. You got a big guy going to Notre Dame running over. Number three says, what well, just hit me? Was that a Mack <laughs> truck? <laughs> Woo. Woo. Michael Mayer, 6'4", 250 pounds of solid muscle. Comes in motion on the near side. Jacob. Gives it to the second man, Felix, down to the 25, and Uh-oh. he's tackled right there at the 24-yard line and, and making the uh, stop. Corbett made the stop, Jackson Corbett. And Rumba was in on it. Nice job. Gary, they're moving the football. Yes, uh, there's no stopping this Cubcath offense. I mean, you know, even though Alex Cass up by two touchdowns or seven minutes to play, you can never count Cubcath out. Well, the fumbles have hurt him in the past. Yep. Back to pass, Jacob. He throws it to Molecu in the corner. Incomplete. Yeah, a little too far. Did we get a flag? Yeah, yeah I don't know about like, that. Looks like we've got a pass interference. Yeah, they're going to call pass interference. That yeah. ball was thrown out of the end zone. And, so, Cove, right. and, and the Lexington Catholic coaches did not like that call. No, I, I don't blame them, actually. That ball was thrown out of the end zone. Uh, he, was, he did push him from the back, but I think the ball was already by him when he pushed him. I don't know. Well. Can we see that again, Coach? I don't know. I can't. I, I can't control that, my friend. Yeah, when we got William in the box with us, we can tell William we'd like to see. But uh, no, William's way up top in the uh, in the crow's nest up We're there. We're gonna have to get walkie talkies or something. Yeah, so we got all this technology. So they move it half the distance down to the twelve. Thielen, trip set out to the left. Molecu is to the right side. Motion by Boydston. Felix in the backfield. 
They give to Felix. He is to the five, and he's going to take it in for the touchdown. Daniel Felix. Man, they answered, didn't they? Woo! Big time What a answer. game. This is one heck of a game. Really good job. Really good. Makes it 38 to 30, 647 to go in this football game from Covington Catholic as Felix just scores some 11 yards out on the run. Well, they're back in it. Bernardi comes in for the extra point. Backup quarterback does the holding. The kick is up, and it is, they're saying, just got in. So, 647 in the game, 38 to 31. Cub Cath will be kicking to Lexington Catholic now, and Lex Cath will try to put together a good, sustained, uh, chew up the clock type of drive and uh, maybe score, you know, a field goal, at least a field goal. And, Try to put this thing away, but it depends on how much of a uh, sustained drive you have, Coach. You are absolutely 100% correct. If they can sustain a drive of any kind, and even a field goal would take away, would put them two scores up, which is going to be difficult for a team. Well, honestly, I wish I had the times for that last one. They drove the ball down the field and scored pretty quickly. Yeah, they did, Coach. Covenant Catholic and uh, finished off by Felix. On an 11-yard TD run. It's 38-31, and, folks, we hope you've enjoyed this one here on the Mingy Beef Jerky. Game of the week, Coach. You know how to, We know how to pick them here on Preps. Oh, yeah. We? Both teams have 21 first downs, Gary. Both teams, 21 first downs. The difference is, let's the Catholics, 439 yards uh, passing. Man. Dylan Bracken back deep to receive this Granati kick. Standing back at the five-yard line, 6.47 to play. Is this big or what? Yeah, this is a great football game. This is like a state championship game. Kick is Bracken takes it in at the three. He's out to the five, 10. He's out to the 15, and he's to the 20, and smothered up there at the 21-yard line. Good return by Bracken. Real let's, good return by Bracken. Let's see what uh, Bo Allen has for us here, Coach. Give us the numbers again for Bo Allen. Uh, his numbers are impressive with – 400 and some yards and, what, five touchdown passes? So yeah. he now has 11 for the season. Yeah, he's got 439 yards passing and five touchdowns. On 21 of 30, I believe. Yep, 21 of 30. No interceptions, by the so, way. So, yeah, no interceptions on the season. I hope I didn't jinx him. But so every pass <laughs> has gone for over 20 yards. He's got 21 completions. Yeah. So, Bo Allen fakes, throws it, and it's caught over there and to the – 25-yard line. Got a little slip screen. They tried the little slip screen. Pretty well covered that time. Uh, that play, when it's run to the short Call side of the Corbin, field. by the way. Yeah. When that ball's run to the short side of the field, I really believe it's a play that's supposed to go five or six yards, and that's it, and that's what they got. So. Yeah. Good catch by Corbett. Splits out to the near side. They got Mundy back in there at a slot. Buson goes out to the top. He's had a heck of a game. Speaking of Mr. Uh, Blake Buson, what, two touchdown catches tonight? Two touchdown catches. Second down for Bo Allen. Nichols Ooh. and hit and dropped immediately there by Carter Martin. Don't get away from your game plan, Lexington Catholic. Don't get away from your game plan. Don't be afraid to throw that ball down the field. Yeah. The middle of the field is open. you got to get somebody down the middle. And the tight end is always open. Tight end is open. Third down at the... 27, third and five for the uh, Knights. Five minutes and 33 seconds to go in this game. Lexington Catholic 38, Cub Cath 31. It's been a great football game tonight here at Davis Griffin Stadium, campus of Cub Cath. Triple receivers to the near side. Nichols in motion. Bo Allen looking out that way. Steps up. He's going to throw it out there to Nichols. He oh, no. Drops it. Oh, it was right out there. He had the first down and more, but he dropped the ball. He turned to look upfield before he caught it, Gary. He knew he was going to run. He, re he knew he had big yardage, but you got to catch the ball first. Now, he doesn't make very many mistakes. Yeah, I'm surprised he dropped that ball. That's oh, I'm too. really surprised. So they're going to probably quick kick it. Bo Allen is a good punter. Covenant Catholic. Five minutes, 16 seconds. The only bad thing, too, about Nichols dropping that ball, stop the clock. Right. So Bo Allen back. Here's the punt, quick punt, and it's a good punt and a good roll down inside the 30. 
Catholic will watch it roll down and close to the 25-yard line, and that's where Covington Catholic wow. will have it in a Woo. touchdown here would tie this thing up with an extra point. 5.05 to play, Coach. Man. Comes down to the wire here. Comes right down to the wire. We've got two great football teams battling it out right to the end of the game. Super job. So Jacob will – Caleb Jacob will take the ball at the 26-yard line. He'll have to go 74 yards. Yeah. And, and he's and, got five minutes yeah. and five seconds to do that. And Kathleen needs a big stop. They need to figure out some way to stop the big guys. Felix in the backfield with Jacob. Jacob, long snap. Gives motion, and that's uh, Boydston to the 30. 35, Boyston to the 40. Cuts it back over the far side to 45. And there's a tackle the. 43-yard line turned in by J.D. Woodall. Yeah, J.D. Woodall came out and made a saving tackle. And he was almost blocked in the back. Yeah, we're watching this again on, on the uh, Kentucky Loop. Nice cut right there. A couple good blocks. Bam, good tackle. And number 15 for, uh, for Covington Catholic could have blocked him in the back but held up. Good discipline. Yeah, good job by Ethan Reardon. Yeah, good discipline, Ethan. So, Twins out to the near side for Caleb Jacob. First down, 48-yard line. He's back to pass. Sets up, throws it deep, Got and Malikou lays out for it. Incomplete. Went off his Caleb fingertips. Man, I, I, okay, you don't need to be in that big of a hurry, guys. Chase Blair on the coverage for the Knights. Second down. Went off the fingertips of right Malikou. Off the fingertips. As close as you can get to having a really good throw. Second down, 425 to play. Cubcath needs a touchdown and an extra point to tie. Remember, Lex Cath does have Bo Allen. They do. He's pretty good. So even if they score. It could come down to whoever has the ball. <laughs> ball last. <laughs> Here's a Jacob looking. Fires over is. the middle, and it's uh, caught. And down to the 36-yard uh, line. And the uh, – and that was Mayer with the catch. Mayer's had a couple really good plays tonight. Really good plays. Molecules had some good ones. Mayer with that catch. Molecule, and that's going to be Mayer out to the near side. Felix is in the backfield. They give it to him. Breaks the tackles uh -oh. to the 30. 25. He is down to the 10 and tackled inside. It'll be first and goal, coach. First and goal for Cub Cavs. Ball security, buddy. Carry that ball tight because they're going to try to knock the ball out every time. What a game, Derry Ball. Seven-yard line, first and goal. 349, but have they, if they score, have they given Lex Cat too much time? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're giving too much, two minutes is too much time. Yeah, well, with Bo Allen, he's pretty good. So here's under center, Jacob. Long count, slides, gives to Felix, five and tackled right there, about the three-yard line. A good play turned in, and that's by Ryan Gallagher. The clock's running. As you can see on your screen, three minutes and 18 seconds. Excuse me, I was Nally on the carry. I think I said Felix. Boy, wouldn't, wouldn't Lexington Catholic love a turnover right here? Or block the extra point. Jacob. Long count at the two. Motion. And he keeps it, and I think he got in. Yeah, yep. he did. Quarterback keeper and Jacob got in. Touchdown. As soon as he got under center, as soon as he walked up and got under center, I figured they're going to have to run that sneak. Their linemen are way too big and powerful. Eddie Eviston, not the riverboat gambler. He's going for the extra point and the tie with 2.52 to play. So it's going to come down to this, Coach. Can Bo Allen and Lexington Catholic produce another production and the whistle is dead i mean they blow the whistle time out time out called by lex camp before the kick got off and why would you call a time out here i don't know maybe no it's a flag a flag outside called by on the nights outside so they'll just take the extra point right well you would think i think they're going to go for two okay yeah they because they mark it half the distance so they are going to go for a two-point conversion, 2.52 to play. Let's see 
what they do here, folks. Call a timeout right now. Call a timeout and get your stuff straight. Oh, my goodness gracious. Eddie Everson got his play in from the sideline. Going for two points. You're at home. Sometimes that's a good idea. 38-37. This will give him a 39-38 lead. Jacob out of the shotgun. Motion by Michael Mayer. Slide right. And they're going to get in for the two-point conversion. Felix got in. Yep, that's the same play where they bring Michael Mayer across as a blocker and run up inside him. So 39 to 38, Covington Catholic. They've come all the way back from 38 to 24, 15 unanswered, Coach. 15 unanswered points, but how much time's on the clock, Gary? You still got plenty of time if you're a Lexington Catholic fan. Yeah, and you're all trailed. you need is what? All you need is a field goal. You, you don't need right. a touchdown. That's exactly right. So, and you've got a really good kicker. There's one of the best kickers in the state. Good graph. job of Eddie Edmondson making the calls there. Yep. So, Lexington Catholic leads 39-38. to 38. What a football game here tonight, Coach. Tremendous game. Loved every minute of it. We are at uh, Covington Catholic, and you got Bracken dropping back deep. He's got to have a clean uh, return here for the Knights. This you don't think uh, Covington Catholic would do a – on a pooch kick or something here, do you? They might kick it on the ground, but honestly, the way they've been kicking, they may they probably just want to kick it in the end zone. Dylan Bracken back deep. So you got a good hands team up there for uh, Lex Calf. Bracken into it, and he does kick it deep. It bounces. Bracken comes up, takes it at the 10. Excuse Bracken 15. He is to the uh, 20. Bracken, nice return up to the 30-yard line. Nice return, Dylan Bracken, up to the 30-yard line. So that, that helps your field goal cause, Coach. You have to take it about to, what, uh, 40 yards or 50? To be in, you're at the 30, so you got to get down to about the 25, so maybe 45 yards would be in field goal range. Yeah, and you think the pressure's on Lexington Catholic. The pressure's on the Colonels because they have not been able to stop that passing game the entire day. Oh, another penalty, Gary. Face mask, 15 yards. So that'll tack it on. Wow. That'll take it to the 45-yard line, Coach. Wow. That hurt. Lexington Catholic in business now. 39-38, to 38, Kevin and Catholic. You on know. top by a point. Felix, that hurt. Man. 243 to play. Gary Ball with Mike Meehan and William Moorfield, the king of stream here tonight on Prep Spin. And what a football game we've had up here at Davis Griffin Stadium at Covenant Catholic, 39 to 38. Remember, Lexington Catholic led 38 to 24 with about, what, eight, nine minutes to go in this game? Nine minutes to go. Motion to the near side. Bo Allen back to pass. And he is going to be sacked back at the 42-yard line. Got to pull the trigger, Bo. Martin, Martin made the stop. Loss of about three, maybe four. And if you're Lexington Catholic coach, you're thinking you got to get about 25, 30 yards to get in field goal range. Am I right? Right, you do. And But you don't need to get it all in one big play. 2.15 to play. Yeah, you got plenty of time. Um, I don't know about your timeout situation, but I don't remember them calling any timeouts. I'll tell you what, the secondary playing a little tougher for – Cupcat. Bo Allen flares it out to Nichols. He's got the catch down the near sideline and run out of bounds. Close to the first down marker down to the 40. He, I thought he got to 45, but they only gave him the 46. So it's going to be yeah, it's going to be about a yard short. Get the first down. Establish the first down first. They get it the first down down to the 46-yard line. What a football game here tonight. Gary Ball, Mike Meehan, and William Warfield on prep spin. Third and a short one. Bo Allen. Triple receivers out to the top. We know you've enjoyed this game on prep spin because we've enjoyed bringing it to you. Bo Allen, long cadence, looks right. He's going to step up, and he is going to dive for it, and I don't think he got the first down. No, I don't think they so have either. marked him short. Fourth down. Minute 45 to play. Fourth and inches. Fourth and inches for the... Knights. Boy, when he took off, I thought he had it, Coach. I did, too. I think he, 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 I think he thought he had it, too. Yeah, we're going to have a timeout with a minute 35 to play. Lexcath fourth and inches, and they're going to 
Call a timeout here, Coach, and I'll tell you, that's a big timeout. Watch the uh, – listen to the Kentucky scoreboard tonight on 630 WLAP. Rick Shaw, Donnie Atkins, and they'll give you all the scores and, and the highlights and coaches' interviews around the state of Kentucky on 630 WLAP. Kentucky scoreboard show tonight from 10 to midnight on uh, 630 WLAP. What do you do here, my friend? Well, Bo Allen's – Usually not under center, but I think I put him under center this time and uh, have him either go off that, uh, that A gap, I mean, to the right or left and pick up, uh, you know, the half the half yard you need, Coach. But uh, I don't know. They might they, – they usually run him out of the uh, shotgun, don't they? Almost, every, yeah. almost exclusively. But it would be a good idea to line up on the shotgun and then walk up under center real quickly to get the ball snapped. Bo Allen, he's going to – he is going to uh, go out of the shotgun. Here it is, fourth and less than a yard. To 46, minute 35 to play, 39, 35. He takes it, runs forward. He's knocked backwards. I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it. He did not get it. He didn't get anywhere near it. In fact, I think he lost yardage on the play. Yeah, did not get it. Who made the play, Coach? Everybody. Yeah. Hopefully, William will show that again. When he walked up under center, they collapsed the entire inside. So the Colonels will take over, minute 31, and – what a ball game here tonight. Unfortunately, Lex Kath couldn't get that first down. That would have been huge, and they had time to kick a field goal. So, woo! I'll tell you what, and after that 15-yard uh, face mask penalty, they were getting the ball into it, you know, yeah. where they could yeah. comfortably make that first down. What a ball game here tonight at Davis Griffin Stadium. 39-38. to 38. Lexington Catholic to Kevin and Catholic, and uh, quarterback Jacob is – Long count, going to give it inside to the ball carrier, and he's going to take it up to the 48-yard line. Michael Mayer got the handoff that time. Yeah, he's he's the one, the big guy. He wanted him to hold on to the football. That's the key right here. Hold on to the football. Do not make a mistake right now. Coach, the um, fourth and inches for Lex Kath, what do you think of the play call? You like it? Uh, I think that probably they should have just walked up there and tried to get him to jump off sides with a long count. Yeah. but Because uh, Cupcath was being very aggressive, obviously. 39-38, minute 22 to go in this game for Park Hills, Kentucky. What a uh, football game here tonight, Coach. You know, regardless of who – wins this game, the other team can say, hey, we've, we've got a good football team, and look at the numbers Bo Allen put up tonight. We'll see what they do here. They got Michael Mayer splitting out to the left. They've got Felix in the backfield. Second down, about eight. Long count by Jacob. Sneak. He's going to keep it, dive it up to midfield, and then uh, do we yeah. have, uh, Lex yeah, Kath has yeah. another timeout, and they'll call it. They'll call the timeout. Yep. Get it 18 to go, so they, you know. Yep, third down. For, they can force him into a punt, Gary. Yeah, it's third down and seven. Bo Allen, 23 for 33 for 455 yards and five touchdowns. Caleb Jacob. Oh, come on. Caleb Jacob, 16 for 25 for 238 yards and one touchdown. Yeah, so Jacob did have, yeah. you know, for his standards, probably a little bit off night, as you were saying early in the game. He had, a, he had an off first half is what he did. Yeah. It's 39-38 here with a minute 18, and now that's the last timeout for Lex Kath, right? Yeah. They don't have any timeouts left. I think the difference in the game is Daniel Felix. Yeah. Nine, nine, uh, nine carries for 89 yards. And, and how many touchdowns. And a touchdown, yeah. And I think the biggest play of this game was when Ryan Nichols dropped that ball from Bo Allen. Oh, oh no the question. Biggest play of this oh. game. I think he catches that ball. I oh. think they win this game. Absolutely. He not, not to put the onus on one player, but no. that, I think that, that play sticks out in my mind. Third down at midfield. Long count. Jacob hit. He throws it to Michael Mayer, and he's bounds. ran out of bounds at the 45. Mm-hmm. They're going to be about a yard short with a minute 11. Fourth down. Big mistake was what? Going out of bounds. Yeah, and that was a generous mark. Yeah. He That's really at 45, yeah. Where's he spotting the ball? At the 44, and the ball was at, oh, my goodness, Coach. Yeah, that's it's a terrible spot. 
45 yard line it should have been. Really bad spot. Bad spot. Michael Mayer got the benefit of that spot, but still is fourth and inches, but should have been fourth and about a yard. Like Lexington Catholic had fourth and inches, and they couldn't get it. A minute 11 to go in this game. So all they got to do is get the first down here, and they probably run out the clock. They're going to call timeout. So, Cuff Calf. They're going to ask for a measurement? I think so. Well, that was a generous mark. I wish we could see that again, but, of course, we can't. Yeah, that was definitely a bad, I mean, really a generous spot. Cupcat is playing at home. And they get the uh, kind uh, mark at home. But, you know, Coach, i got to say, 38-24, Lexington Catholic led this game late in the fourth quarter, about well, midway point seven minutes. They probably feel like they should have won this game. They uh, do. Up by two touchdowns. They should. They, they, they did, but. Again, you got to give credit to the Colonels. I mean, they had Lex Kath, I mean. two answering drives. Yeah, too. they did. And they got the two-point conversion because they got the offsides by Lexington Catholic. Yeah. And it moved it closer to yard and one, one and a half yard line, and they ran it in by Felix. Yeah, what a difference that would have made if they would have just kicked yeah. that extra point. Yeah, we'd be playing overtime possibly. Probably, yeah. Well, what a game, though. Worked to drive up here, wasn't it, Coach? Well, yeah, really worked. It was an easy drive. and Thanks to Sutherland Chevrolet over in Nicholasville, Kentucky. Sutherland Chevrolet, don't text and drive. Jacob waiting for the uh, count, trying to draw Lex Kath off sides. And he drives forward. He got the first down down. He got it by plenty. Yeah. So first down by the uh, Knights. That should be the I ball mean by game. the uh, Colonels. Knights defense stops him at the 42. So that clock will run now, and I don't think uh, Lexington Catholic can stop it anymore, can they, Coach? No, and I think that's a ball game right there. So, But, again, what a game. Wow, what a football game. 39-38. This will be talked about for a long time, Coach. Yeah, it could have gone either way. Like you said, I think Lexington Catholic thinks they should have won this game. Wouldn't you? Yeah. Caleb Jacob takes a knee in victory formation, and that will run the clock out here. And What a game tonight, folks. 39-38, Covington Catholic came back from 38-24 with, I think it was about, what, eight, nine minutes left in the game? Nine minutes, yeah. So, great comeback by the uh, Covcath Colonels down to 24 seconds, and they'll go to the victory formation and take the knee and then run this clock out here, 18 seconds. Jacob, long count, and he takes the knee, and Covington uh, Catholic escapes 39-38. Over Lexington Catholic, but Lexington Catholic came in here and uh, held her own, didn't they? They did, and, and again, don't forget, there's a difference in class here. Yeah, they're 5A and Lexcast 4A. Right. And, but, so the what, final. The super 30, game, Gary Ball. Yeah, super game, 39-38, won by Covington Catholic over Lexington Catholic, and you saw it exclusively right here on PrepSpin.com. You'll want to tell your friends to go back and watch this game. This is one you definitely want to watch archived on uh, PrepSpin. I'd say we'll have a few people go back and watch this game, Coach. I guarantee you tonight, I guarantee you tonight before bedtime, which will be 2 in the morning, these players right here are going to be watching the game. What a super game by both teams. Covington Catholic wins it 39-38 to over Lexington Catholic. And Bo Allen, boy, Bo Allen came in here, and, and Michael Mayer was a difference. He had a strip ball. He, he knocked the ball out from the quarterback, uh, Bo Allen. He had a sack. And he had a great catch. Uh, I tell you what, uh, this game had all the earmarks of an overtime game, didn't it, Coach? It did. I thought it was going to get there. If it wasn't for the penalty on the extra point, well, they, but, you know, very seldom do you see a team take points off the board. You know, they kick the extra point. They take the points off the board and say, hey, we'll take that penalty. We're going to go for two. And they made two, and that changed the whole complexion of this ending of this game. And the final score, Covington Catholic goes to 3-0. Lexcath drops to 2-1. and one. Lexcath plays to sales next week, and, and the uh, Blue Colonels will go down just down the road here and play the Red Colonels next Friday night, Dixie Heights. Literally just down the road. Just too. down the road. So that does it for us here tonight at uh, Covington uh, Catholic where the uh, Colonels win it 39-38. to 38. Uh, The final score as uh, Covenant Catholic wins it by one point here tonight over Lexington Catholic. Uh, so long from Davis Griffin uh, Stadium on the campus of, of uh, Covenant Catholic, 39-38. Cub Cath wins it tonight. A great football game here tonight. Thanks for joining us on Prep Spin for William Warfield and, and uh, Coach Mike Meehan. This is Gary Ball. So long, everybody.